and greetings from this lovely, super humid day in South Florida. And no, in all seriousness, it's like beyond humid here. It's like 98% humidity. It's totally absurd. <laughs> but greetings, world. Uh, I am Resplendent Seraph, and today we're going to play a little more Battletech, this time uh, with a little less fail, uh, or so I hope. <laughs> uh, so for the virtue of the YouTube playlist, uh, this is actually skipping a chapter where we attempted this the first time uh and ended up with a little bit of poor luck and uh some other hilarious shenanigans i'm probably going to put that missing chapter if you're interested uh also up on my channel but in a slightly different spot uh yeah right even looking out the window makes it sweat <laughs> i mean it's beautiful otherwise i mean except for the, the over on this side of the wall you can't really see it but there's this really dark and ominous thunder cloud that's probably going to get here in anywhere between half hour hour so yeah we got we'll have that going on in the background um, but ever since my internet got upgraded, the, uh, the internet doesn't go out every time it just rains outside because now I don't have cables that are completely, uh, compromised. I don't know if I had, we had moles in the ground chewing up wires or what, but yeah, back when I had normal cable internet, uh, it would rain and yeah, my internet would go out. Super awesome. Especially when you're trying to take online classes and everybody's like, really, really, Seraph, you know, we're in the middle of class and it rains and your internet goes out. Seriously, bro. Um, it was, it was Florida life. Yeah, when literally, yes, yes. For people that don't live in Florida, that happens. Dark Star, what Tarek starts talking about, it totally happens all the time. Where you got people in one building, and then right across the street, it's raining like hell. And so the people on the other side of the street, where it's sunny, are just pointing and laughing at the people on the other side of the street. It happens all the time. You could literally see in the air where the line is of where the rain is actually hitting. It's the weirdest thing ever. I remember, uh, so I, my childhood was in New Jersey and I could not imagine that until I got to Florida and you would have that very, very specific delineated rain, not rain zones. And it's not just like, you know, a little bit of like a transition. What Darkstar is talking about, it's, it's dramatic. It's like pouring on one side of the street and literally bone dry sunny on the other. <laughs> I got to imagine it happens in other places. But it's the only place in the United States that I can think of where that kind of wild shit happens. It's, 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 it's really wild, especially when you're in a building and you're looking out on one side of the building and it's pouring rain and dark and everything else. And you look out the other side of the building and it's a blue sky, sunny, and people are just walking around like, what the hell is this madness? Uh, <laughs> so it's so true. It's wild. So yeah, you can you can get your own view of that through the window behind me as we get fired up here. So when uh, when you're driving, the sky is parallel, running with pure indigo death behind you. Yes, yes. Oh my God, yes. <laughs> uh, or worse, when um, when uh, it's pure indigo death in front of you, and you know what kind of misery you're about to experience, and it's just like, oh, oh God, this is gonna suck so much. Uh, and you actually get to the traffic back up before you even hit the rain. <laughs> that happened uh, a couple of years ago when I had to go to jury duty. That was, that was a very, very harrowing drive in. And it was jury duty, so it's not like I could even just go a little late or anything else. I had to drive through that. Oh, that was so awful. Ghost traffic, yes. <laughs> Ghost traffic. <laughs> oh my god. So let's get this uh let's get this show on the road while we while we bitch about things things that totally suck about Florida. <laughs> now granted, I generally I I'm probably in the minority of Florida residents where I actually think there are more positives that uh that outweigh the negatives, but uh the remnants of congestion that linger, yes. Yes. Oh my God. Yes. That's just terrible. Oh, we have to have the worst drivers ever. It, and it's not even a question. Now, granted, every time I've gone back up north, people are crazier up north and they drive faster, but they don't drive as purely incompetently as they seem to, especially in South Florida. I just, I don't understand. And times I've gone up north and I drive generally up north, the second you cross that Georgia state line, they suddenly learn how to drive. It's, it's amazing. And you're like, you're even with the same people on the road. But yeah, yeah, <laughs> they know what they're doing up north. They, they, they do, they do. Now granted, 
it's also harrowing because if you do not drive as fast as they go, holy cow, will they just spin around you? It's it's like a racetrack. It's uh, it's it's. it's I do you remember the first time driving in New Jersey? You know, because I didn't drive when I was in a kid there. And uh, yeah, that was that was a wake up call of like, holy sh isn't it? So I ended up reloading uh, an old save so that we can get back into this here. So we'd, uh, we're we're going to go a little back in time because we're going to do this right. And uh, we're going to do the priority mission grave robbing. So the um, the storage volume on the Argo has been decoded and we got map coordinates and we are headed to Archer that's deep in the director in deep in directorate space. So essentially, just again, to sum up here, what's going on. We are cruising through the liberated sort of restoration area of the Oregon Reach. We're going to briefly go into Torian space and then head all the way over here over to Archer in the directorate. And uh, this is where the coordinates for that um, that storage drive are. And we're going to find out what was so important there. And for everybody that was watching before, you, you kind of already know, but for the benefit of the of the complete playthrough playlist, well, we're just going to stay mum a little bit on that for a quick minute. We should be able to go through this pretty quick, especially the first mission. The first hey, mission is usually a cakewalk, knock on wood. Uh, when life gives you like, yeah, you shoot your back in there, AC20, right? Oh man, that's awesome. Yes, absolutely, uh, Warhammer. You you got it. Uh, ballsiest traffic move I encountered was in Chicago when driving from Minnesota to Orlando. Person went from left lane to right lane to left lane across five lanes, 80 miles an hour during rush hour. Wow. Yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty hardcore. Actually, the ballsiest traffic move I ever saw, and their name will remain nameless, but he's normally very reserved. And so we're just sitting in traffic and he's got a sport utility and just goes, F this, drives up on the median. And mind you, it's a red light and there's traffic coming from off 95 and just goes around everything. There's like a gap in the 95 traffic, goes straight through that and we're well on our way to the university. And my one friend who's up in shotgun just go, turns to, uh, turns to the, the you know, we're, we're gonna call him, uh, we're gonna call him nice guy 69, right? And she goes, nice guy. That is simultaneously the coolest thing you have ever done, but never fucking do that again. <laughs> but it was just so out of character and wild. That was the ballsiest traffic move I ever saw. And yeah, it was, it was, it was bananas. It's, you know, the stuff that like a 19 year old would do that. Now we look back on it. It was like, oh my God, what were we thinking? But at the time it was, it was, it was, it was terrifying. Uh, <laughs> it was after it was the coolest thing ever. At the time, I'm like, oh my God, we're going to die. <laughs> Never going to Chicago again. Yeah, Chicago traffic is nuts. I went to Chicago for a wedding and that's when Seraph's identity got stolen. So that was a fun time. Uh, I know I didn't know that until like a year later when they started buying stuff on a fake credit card and they had so... I won't go into the details of the how because I, I'm not going to give the internet a blueprint of how to do identity theft. <laughs> I knew, I thought I knew who it was until you said SUV. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, <laughs> um, so, uh, so yeah. Uh, but anyway, long story short, the criminals had a fake ID with my picture on it, but with their information, and credit cards with my name, but somebody else's actual magnetic strip information encoded on on the card itself and so that was super fun to clear up and that was my my legacy for going to chicago so uh i know some cool people in chicago but i like dark star i would just assume never ever ever go back to that place yeah no uh forget chicago not not doing it nope 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 lots of nope yeah, we're going to do the improved right, library like we did last time because we like getting our morale up as soon as possible. And we will continue to advance. We got we'll be at Archer in about two weeks here. And uh, so, yeah, that was my that was my experience. Their definition, right? Yes, yes. That is not pizza. It's like a pie, not like a pizza pie, but like apple pie, but with tomato sauce. It's it's weird, right? It's just, just, no, no. <laughs> yes. So 
For anybody that's down in the South Florida area, there are two places that have really good New York style pizza and it's the best pizza yep. by far compared to anything else around here other than like those two. These are like head and shoulders by very else. There's Thick and Thin that's out by 441 in Boca and there is Pasquale's? I think it's Pasquale's. It's in Coral Springs. Damn, I'm gonna have to probably look it up to make sure I'm remembering the name right because it's been so long since I've been down to Coral Springs for it. All right, we've arrived at our true commander. Ready to proceed? Yes, that's why we came here. And this time, we're not going to get our ass kicked. <laughs> corn on... Wow, that's a true abomination, uh, Warhammer. Does anybody put corn on a pizza? Or are you just coming up with stuff that's just uh, uh, some only stuff that Satan would come up with? Oh, my God. That's, that's real, people? Oh, my God. Oh, oh, that's awful. Oh, oh, my God. <laughs> Oh my god, no! <laughs> there it is, our true, a more foreboding hunk of ice I've never seen. Uh, you were born in this system, were you not, most Mr. Oliveira? Yes, Lady Rano, I grew up on Nassau Heights, one of the orbital hab stations above the planet's surface. Nobody makes landfall except for the surface mining teams, and they only stay for month-long shifts. It's too dangerous for permanent habitation. State next to New York. Yeah, yeah, it pretty much is, right? Uh, I remember an old folk story that originated with those mining teams. My father shared it with me when I was young. The Lakura, I think it was called. If memory serves, it was about an ill wind that would howl through the canyons, killing engines and scrambling computers. The stuff of nightmares for such an inhospitable world. Yes, Lady Rano, it's a gremlin story. Something the miners can blame when they pass out drunk with the headlights running. The Lakura cured my engine. I barely got out alive. Not our proudest achievement as a culture, but apparently it gets around. Any real threats out there we need to worry about. My BFF was obsessed with it after coming back from his birthright trip to Israel. <laughs> so I really would, I mean, obviously with stuff going on over there right now, it's not, not the best plan, but I do think that Israel is on my bucket list of places to visit. Everybody that's gone has spoken very highly of it and has loved the experience. Uh, one of these days I got to do that. I got to go to Egypt, see the pyramids, even though everybody tells me it's a tourist trap, but I still feel like it's... It's just something I've always felt kind of like interested in and I would love to do even even knowing it's it's going to be a tourist trap. Uh, you know, Japan. God, I need to see Japan. Uh, I would like to go to Australia. I don't necessarily know if I have a specific place in Australia, but I think I would I would really enjoy going there as well. Um, I've been to Canada. I've been to Bermuda and uh, I've been to Ireland. Ireland was awesome, but something they don't tell you about Ireland. It's fucking cold it was so co so vikings right you, everything you think about the frigid north you think of vikings right vikings went to ireland and they were like fuck this place the people fight naked and it's fucking cold screw this we're out they called it hibernia basically went fuck this place and they left and they never came back <laughs> so yeah ireland is fucking freezing it's uh <laughs> it's fucking awful climate wise which you wouldn't think of because it's so green. I'm thinking, oh, it's green. It's going to be beautiful. No, 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 no. Just cold, bitter, bitter fucking cold. It was like 40 degrees there and all the natives are like, oh, it's so beautiful. And they left the windows open and didn't turn on the heat. I'm like, you guys are you guys suck. I don't know if they were serious or if they were like, we're going to totally fuck with this American dipshit that can't handle the cold. And I'm not sure which of them it is. <laughs> but it was it was great. I loved it. It was a, it was a, an amazing two weeks. I actually do recommend people going, but dress warm. Just dress warm. Are you sure you actually left Bermuda? Oh, yeah, right? Yeah, no, yes, I did. Statistically speaking, there really aren't even that many more unusual things about the Bermuda Triangle comparatively to any other spot on earth square mile wise it's just you know it's one of those things where a bunch of stories propagate there's nothing really all that strange about it that's right remember new england same latitude as the iberian peninsula that's right anything north of that in europe treat as if canada that's exactly right rome is the same latitude as new york so th like you know like dark star is talking about that is absolutely true oh god i wish somebody had told me that before i went over there holy god it was so cold and I went in summer. I went in summer and it was freezing. <laughs> Not unless you get out of your Matamac. I wouldn't recommend that, by the way. <laughs> How likely are we run into the surface miners you're talking about? 
Uh, don't worry, you won't. Not where you'll be dropping. Surface teams tend to cluster around the rocky outcrops that ring the planet's Ecuador. Uh, equator. Uh, that's where you'll find all the really good stuff. The platinum, the ruthenium, the rarer exotics. You'll be well clear of the mining zones. Not even a great vacation spot. Got it. Let's continue on. House Colorosus has provided us with five supply ships to carry whatever we find on the surface. Captain Grigas of the ARS Delphinus will serve as our point of contact for the fleet. After Director Murad's finished interfacing with the castle's computer, she'll pop the doors and we'll run a threat assessment. Then if everything looks clear, we'll have Sumeri set you down on the ground. Hey guys, uh, I hate to interrupt, but uh, I've got a sensor blip on my screen. It's a dropship, can't make out what kind. She's heading for the planet's surface. Looks like her point of origin was Archer's second moon. That's strange. Archer's moons are uninhabited. Is it a directorate ship? Still too far out to say. At their current rate of speed, it'll be at least an hour before I could give you a positive ID. And it could be anybody. I could tell you from experience that successor state ships have a way of showing up when you least expect them. If we act quickly enough, it won't matter who they are. We'll get in, loot the armory, and be on our way out before they even make the planet fall. We don't have time to play this safe, so we're dropping now. I want our mechs on the ground when the doors open. I'll inform Captain Grigus of the change. You can't go down there in person, Kamea, and certainly not before we're sure it's safe. You're the leader of the Restoration. We can't afford you to lose you on a salvage operation. God damn it, if only she'd listened to Madeira here. Visited the Scotland Highlands. Nice! I didn't know you visited the Scotland Highlands. That's awesome. Uh, afraid I'm with Lord Madeira on this one, Lady Arano. Let us take the risks. That's what you're paying us for. This isn't about salvage, damn it. My father spent the last half of his life dreaming of the Argo and her secrets. This is one of those secrets. I will see this through. For him and for myself. And that's what's going to make our lives a little difficult in the next mission or two. Now, it will take time and expertise to get whatever battle mechs we find in the castle's armory up and running again. Uh, Lord Carosa sent us a recovery team, and I want our best mech tech on the ground leading them. That's you, Mr. Vertinen. You'll be riding with me. Guess I'll go warm up the rumble seat. You know, the only other time I've sat in one of these things was on St. Loris, and I got my arm blown clean off for my trouble. Uh, it was really cold near summer. It was a rock for the mountains, a green mountain scaffold. Yeah, anyone really could live there. It's beautiful. Plus side anywhere you'd likely to visit in Egypt is farther north than you are now. In yeah, it's true. That's exactly true. Yep. Yeah, no, Egypt is the right right latitude for, for somebody with, uh, with basically a cold-blooded biology like me that can't take cold. <laughs> I do I do tend to cope well in, in heat, though. Uh, here's hoping you won't go... Uh, don't go two for two. Good luck down there, all. I'll be keeping an eye on you from up here. All right, so we're going to go in these and let's see. Do I go in the Griffin or do I take that Archer again? You know what? I think we're going to go in the Griffin rather than the Archer because this Griffin is a little more maneuverable. And that actually may serve us well as we go forward here. So, yeah, we're going to go with this team. Yeah, I mean, I've I, unfortunately, I didn't get a chance to visit Scotland when I was visiting Ireland because um, we were. So I went with some family and we were trying to track down family. Wow, that loaded really fast. Um, so anyway, Castle Nautilus is somewhere down there on Archer, buried deep in the ice. Dr. Murad thinks we'll find an entrance at the coordinates she's provided. We're going to drop, make our way to the entrance and force our way inside. But we need to do it soon. I want to be finished before our uninvited guests arrive. And so this mission is, uh, this mission is pretty cool. Now granted, this one usually ends up being a cakewalk. Uh, hopefully I'm not jinxing myself here. Good luck down there all. I'll be cruising in the upper atmosphere and monitoring your progress, just in case. Roger that, Ms. Meyer. Dr. Murad, have you had any luck connecting with Castle Nautilus's computer? Already on top of it, Lady Arano. The handshake has been established. I have command line, command line access. Door control is being a little finicky, though. Work fast, Doc. Riding in this rumble seat is like sitting on a jackhammer in a sauna on the sun. And Lady Arano's piloting is aggressive. <laughs> uh, what would be the target number to crowdfund Seraph Soviet Spring Ring? <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> yeah, and a lot of that would probably have to go to and motivating me to even go. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, Jesus. That'd probably be a high number, Darkstar. <laughs> uh, 
Poor you. Not to worry, though. I think I've found a workaround for the problem. Get walking toward the main doors, and I'll have them open by the time you get there. You know, that would be the... That would be like the... <laughs> that's, that's an idea for a YouTube channel. <laughs> Send Seraph to places he'd really rather... Uh, <laughs> Seraph's Worldwide Torture Emporium. Sending me to all sorts of fucked up places where I'm, I'm just going to be miserable, like Antarctica and uh, all sorts of other... Like, objectively cool shit. Like, I could take a look at penguin colonies but be absolutely miserable the whole time, but would still be like filming and learning all sorts of like really interesting, cool things. Um, but yet I would just be like, <laughs> understood doctor, do whatever you have to do. Lady Arano out or weird uh, places like uh, that have ridiculous amounts of bugs or mosquitoes. And I'm just like, I, I hate all of you. <laughs> you know, there, there is a, I'm sure somebody's probably done that. On my way. Let's move up. Fuck, I do that shit right, right? <laughs> okay, the standard approach isn't working. I'm inputting a valid ID, but for some reason the door won't budge. I think I found a workaround, though. It'll just be another moment. Tired of being miserable for free. It's time to get paid for it. <laughs> I think we have our... Uh... And we've got, just like that, we've got the channel slogan. <laughs> uh -huh. Oh, man, that's awesome. <laughs> All right. And... And I've got it. Okay, hang on a second. I'm going to try something. Famous last words. Dr. Murad, what did you just do? The lights are flickering. My screen is dead. <laughs> Dr. Murad? Mr. Oliveira? The whole Argo's gone dark. I'm not picking up a drive signature. Whatever Farah just did, it must have knocked out her engines. <laughs> Worry about it later. Look, those vents in the rock. They're spitting out drones. Be careful of those things. They're armed to the teeth and coming in fast. <sighs> and there's probably more where they came from. Sprint, and now we Location are fighting confirmed. the Star League. I've got a sensor trace. Engaging jump, jump. Oh, I caught stream early today. Hey, Ghosty. Yeah, we basically just started, and as you can kind of see, we're uh, we're doing a do-over of uh, <laughs> we're doing a do-over <laughs> of the previous stream. <laughs> This time we're going to do it right, though. At least I hope. <laughs> uh, we could be Laurel and Hardy of Mildly Inconvenient Misery kind. <laughs> You're the skinny straight man. I'm the fat skinny guy. Oh, my God. This is brilliant. This is going to be great. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> so yeah, we're literally fighting the Star League at this point. Granted, automated AI controlled uh, vehicles and drones and turrets, but the Star League job? nonetheless. This part of it is, is really cool, at least in my Standing opinion. <clears throat> oh, uh, yes. Go and stomp that thing. Let's take out a drone. One of the nice things about being a battle mech and doing melee against vehicles, you always do double damage to vehicles. Let me get Pinto to narrate the videos. Yes. <laughs> yeah, this will this will work out well, and we could get my friend uh, uh, Dan from uh, Art of the Dojo to actually do all the filming for it. He runs a TV production studio, so we'd have all like professional grade cameras and uh, recording and everything else. We got this. We've got this. Let's see. Let's do. Let's do this. Engaging jump jets. We'll fight these guys. Let's see. Medium drone, medium drone, and yeah, they're both. Ah, uh, we'll fight this one first. Yep. Good. <clears throat> For the Oregon people. Enemy unit destroyed. I hear ya. We're gonna go up here. I read you, Commander. Moving out. So the Kamea's not off on her own up here. 
I don't think a PPC... Ooh, no, a PPC should kill that. Good. All right. Yep, we'll go with that. And everything else on A, just in case the PPC misses. We should have this. Let's do it. You get a headshot, and you get a headshot. Perfect. And take out the other one, please, Glitch. As long as you hit. Why? That didn't kill that one? How did it not? Oh, that was a hit. Oh, oh, come on. <laughs> you got to be fucking kidding me here. Oh, whatever. All right, let's just smash this one and we'll get that one in a second. <laughs> I know this all spawned from a joke. I'm legit down if it's a final concept. <laughs> right? It does sound like it'd be in a weird sort of way fun. Um, although, it, except for the whole... Seraph freezing thing. Oh god, and there's even more comedy to be had. Because I could... Oh, really? And you freaking blew through the armor. You're giving me repair bills and the freaking thing just started. So one of the things that people know about me, IRL, is... Uh, damn it. I shouldn't even be taking this damage, but whatever. Um... I'm a really picky eater, so part of the hilarity could also be making me eat all the local cuisine, and I could picture Darkstar being like, this is awesome, and I'm just like, oh, oh. <laughs> Can we please find a cheeseburger? I just want a cheeseburger. And there's all this like really objectively wonderful food that everybody would be like, man, that sounds awesome. And there's just me going, oh, this. <laughs> Every place we go to where you freeze, we end up someplace I melt like a fucking candle. <laughs> and I'm just like, yeah, this is fine. <laughs> we could even do the whole like uh, uh, a layer effect with just fire and flames burning in the background. And I'm just like, yeah, this is this is fine. <laughs> yes, Commander. Oh, uh, that'd be awesome. All right, let's. Uh, yes, I hear you. Yeah. All right, let's just go and smash you. That'll put an end to you. Oh, that was so lame with this one. Closing That's the same kind of sandwich you always order from the... Yes. Yes, exactly. I am indeed that guy who always Reporting gets the same vehicle. sandwich from that place. Orders. People always know my orders. Uh, oh, man. What bad luck. It just all hit the left arm. I don't think there's anything on the left arm, though. Is there? Yeah, the PPC's on the left. Yeah, there's nothing really on the left arm, so fuck it. I'm not really all that worried about it. Yeah, we'll just hop up here and we'll shoot you with that. We'll get some high ground. Just bad luck that it both hit the arm. Although the last time we played this, if they had hit command. Wow, behemoth. Could you miss any more than that? <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> what the commander. Fuck? My God. Uh, all right. Yeah, let's just. Let's just advance and we'll, we'll blow up this thing. I don't think we give Kara, Nikki, and Ghosty the exclusive rights to the official podcast. I, I second that. It burns. Oh my god. <laughs> you know. <laughs> That's what I should have named my Wi Fi network. Oh, that would have been great. We can't stay out here in the open. If we don't find harder cover, we're going to get swamped. So, what's the plan? You fall back and find an extraction point. I'm getting you the hell out of there. No, we have to push forward to the doors. Our only way out of this is through. Dr. Murad will fix this. Believe it. Lady Orano, she's right, Sumeri. An outpost castle like Nautilus could bring down a dozen leopards, probably at the same time. If you try to extract us, it'll blow you out of the sky. Damn it. All right, you're right. Uh, stay alive down there. I'll try keep trying to get fur on the comms. Do that. For now, we gotta get our get our heads back in the game. Look over there. The damned castle's activating turrets. Yep. And Star League enemy turn. More drones came out of this fucking door because of course they did. Oh, don't fight at the victor. Don't fire at the victor. I didn't even get a chance to go, man. Come on. That thing didn't even exist a second ago. <laughs> Warning. Armor low. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. We gotta go up here and deal with all this shit. We can't leave Kamea on our own. Because <clears throat> these turrets can definitely shred that Kentaro. Alright, let's see. 
Standard Shredder turret. Uh, all right, so the AC-20 has to go first. Let's, uh, yeah, you know what? Let's just, let's just hope this destroys it. I may not, but we'll try. Here we go. Come on. Oh, I think we got it. Mm, all right, fine. We should be able to get Kamea to go and spread it out a little bit. Just really hoping to prevent this turret from firing at all. That AC-20 is going to hurt really bad. Yep. God damn it. Well, so Seraph clearly jinxed this by saying it would be a cakewalk. <laughs> yep, Kara can have uh, the control of the dump button. <laughs> and Nikki's the only one who does it goes... But Nikki is the only one who does and goes his role not to say a goddamn thing about it. And you know, party knows this house racing game. This thing's study legit. That's right. Oh my god. Oh, come on. This is bullshit. They're new combatants. They shouldn't have complete chance to go first. Standing by. Whatever. Uh, let's go up here. I'll do what you ask. Fortunately, we can now tail deal with this stupid turret. Let me guess. It has two hit points left. Fucker. Whatever. Whatever, whatever. All right. We will do that, and that will be fine. All right. Let's do some damage here. I'm on. Try and take out this heavy laser turret. All right. We'll whittle that down. Good. At least that AC-20 won't get a chance to go again. Target destroyed. Yeah, it did the damage Commander. though. So that part sucks. Um, we got two and we got that coming in over here. I'm really not worried about these two all that much, but. All right, let's do that. Coordinates received. Fire at you. And maybe we can have some luck here. Confirm. There we go. Good. Finally, some good luck. One more. One part research study, seven parts random bullshit. <laughs> Redefine edutainment by having layers to this shit. <laughs> oh, man. All right. So at least we'll get this done. Jeez. Engaging. Physical attack. All right. Deal with some of this bullshit here. Enemy unit Hopefully next turn I'll be able to hop up and um, deal with um, get the victor up on elevation so I can turn around and not get my back shot anymore. How much? 67. Okay, so 74. Okay. Let's uh this. That should be fine. No problem. At this point, we're being efficient with our everyone. offensive output. We're obviously not going to destroy the Shredder turret, but we can at least do some amount of damage to it. Good. Yeah, shoot at the Marauder a little bit. Yeah, quit shooting at Kamea and Renegade. That'd be great. Thanks. Fucking AC-20. Uh, I'm going to need a medic. Yeah, lovely head hit mechanic. It's the lamest shit ever. Because it's really not a factor for the AI pilots. Because what does the AI care if their pilots are, you know, hurt for months on end? There's, it's really only a penalty for you, the, the actual human player. That's the only problem with it. I'm on the move. Do that. We have got that objective. Uh, all right, 107. So, hmm. I ball on that correctly. Oh, well, all right, fine. You know what? Let's toggle you guys off. That should do. All right. Discharging weapon. Let's destroy that. Yeah, there we go. Not messing around. 
If you could be one thing, be efficient. That's right. You're up some tussin on it. But if we hadn't split our fire with uh, Glitch, we probably don't destroy that on that particular volley. Yeah, let's just go over here and shoot that. Lifting turret from up there. And that's still a good position where I could still provide fire support to the turret, uh, to the vehicles that haven't shown up yet. There we go. Do a little damage. Start whittling it down. Okay, you. I don't think there's anything really going on up here, so we're just going to do that. And let's brace. Because I'm not getting shot in the back again. Commander? Still over there. That's 80 tons. That's not going to be fun when that comes online. Moving to position. Probably not firing the PPC here. Let's just fire the AC-5 and the medium lasers. Well, ooh. Uh, yeah, let's not mess around. Let's take out the turret. Good, we got it. Lady Urano, Lady Urano, do you read me? Darius, thank the gods. Tell me what's going on up there. Doc Murad must have poked her nose into something she shouldn't have. Everything's going haywire up here. Doc's putting out fires as we speak. XO, listen to me. You tell Doc Murad that if she doesn't get these doors open right now, Lady Arano is dead. We all are. I'm well aware of that, Yang. Working on it now. <sighs> Just hold out a little longer. I'm working on... <sighs> We've lost contact again. Keep yourselves alive. I'll call out new contacts as I see them. <laughs> Heads up! You got more of those little bastards coming in from the vents in the rock. <laughs> oh man. Uh, yeah, let's reserve. Reserve one more. Really would like this. Yes, please go. Shoot at that Victor. That's nice and braced. So at least you do less damage. Mm. All right, we'll take that. Missed with one of the PPCs at least. Damage, 80 tons is approximately the total weight of packages I handled during the three months I worked in. Oh my god! Holy fuck! Darkstar moved an assault mech working in Amazon for three months. <laughs> Not exaggerating either, because one night I moved over a thousand pounds of water bottles over the course of. Uh, I'm gonna guess that's eight hours. Wow. Wow. That is. That is an. That is a staggering amount of freight. Holy shit. Wow, that really puts it in perspective. Holy Christ. Standing by. Moving out. That's a lot. Man, that's a lot. Holy smokes. All right, so we've got more. Where are the other ones? I only see this one. There are more. There are definitely going to be more. <laughs> All weapons are go. But since we only have one target, let's just shoot this one. Waiting for orders. Go up here. I'll probably just shoot you with one PPC. Coordinates received. And an AC5. We'll still vent a little heat. One hour. Oh, one hour. Oh my god. <laughs> I've been trying to expect typos. Yes. As soon as I truly am on like a complete recovery and I'm allowed to drink again I do like the idea of doing a drunk stream move her down we got more but oh, wait there's more acknowledged ah oh, jeez they got a free turn I didn't even get a chance to go yet. I'm still dealing with the evasion from like two turns ago. Man, that's that's so lame. That is so that's such bullshit. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, all right, fine. We'll do that. Actually, no. I should have shot that. Eh, I should have shot that one. That was stupid. Regretted that instantly. Medium drone, medium drone. Yeah, I should have shot the heavy drone. Damn it. Damn it, Seraph. Whatever. Vigilance. And 
Yeah, let's at least kill. Let's at least blow this one up. Case of Fiji water bottles weighs 30 pounds. I moved more than 30 in the span of... Yeah. Yeah, so 30 times 30. Yep. That math... That math checks out. Good to go. Yeah, Kamea's still back there. I should have at least gotten a chance to move Kamea and Renegade. That's... That sucks, man. Hell, it would have been nice if they could have just vented heat. But... I'm... Fairly certain... That... It didn't even process heat for those turns. They just introduced the Star League forces and brought them in. Ready for orders. Yeah, yeah, a heavy drone over there, huh? Uh, I think I like the idea of attacking this guy, though. Since Glitch already attacked it. There we go. Finish off that drone. One for the scrap heap. Oh, right. I can... Now I can go. You know what? Let's do that. Ooh, I'm gonna soak up a lot of heat, though. You know what? Yeah, we're done. I'm listening. Here. That. I'll make it happen. Just in case something else shows up. There. This ended up being a little dicier than I had anticipated, but overall not terrible. Taking the shot. Yeah, it really would have been nice if Kamea could have vented heat those two turns. Sort of got punished for killing the drones too quick. I would literally sing 16 tons when walking into the building to desensitize myself to what light ahead. Oh my god. Yeah, I don't think I, I could have done a warehouse job like that. Hell, I worked retail and there were times where I would have to go to the warehouse to do stuff. I mean, look at me. I'm, you know, Mr. Skin and Bones. I was just, just, even with access to machinery and all that, it just, I was not well suited to it. All right, these guys are driving me crazy. Oh, good. Actually, suits me just fine. Well, all right, fine. Damn it. I'm hit. I so hate these head hits. It's the lamest it. stuff ever. Sumire, broadcast this now. On it. Engaging. That's an interesting view. <laughs> Destroy that. Now that it blew off an arm. Granted, there was nothing valuable on that arm. I've been trying to get back in ever uh, since because those three months got me in better shape than the previous decade. Yeah, I've, I mean, I bet you'd get a hell of a workout and all that. Got those two assholes. Yes, I hear you. Just run up here, step on this little bastard. It's enough out of you. Uh, so we took a little more damage this time going through it this way but kind of had to go through. Wow, we still can't get up to, uh... We're still not going to get to be able to go into these guys, huh? All right, let's reserve. Let's see if we can get them to go. Got it. Fuck. They might go and shoot the victor in the back. God damn it. That would really suck. Good, thank God. Good to go. Well, we'll jump, Firing jump jet. and we'll block. First two weeks were hell, but I was down to 40. Oh my God, it was down to 40 pounds in two months time. That's crazy. Wow. Whoa. Nothing like a workout that you're getting paid to do. <laughs> Barely hit, Commander. Commander? That's what I wanted. All right. So at least we could try to shoot this heavy drone. Unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to shoot that PPC, I don't think. Heavy drone, heavy drone. Yep. We're going to overheat. Well, let's see. Maybe we can get lucky and hit it all in the same spot. Nope. That's okay. Identifier code accepted. Automated defenses disengaged. Welcome, Argo. 
Thank the gods for that, Dr. Murad. I need a status report. What the hell is going on up there? I, uh, I used our code breaker to access a sealed portion of the Nautilus memory core. When I got in, I grabbed up every encrypted file I could find, and I did get the door codes, but I also found something else. Getting paid to lose weight was an absolute win in my book, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> what did you let loose on my ship, doctor? I don't know. Something they were researching in there. It's malicious code of some kind. I think I inadvertently left it out of quarantine. Yeah, and you tripped an alarm while you were at it. Look, the good news is that I've got it contained. 90% certain. But it's caused a lot of damage up here. <laughs> Communications are patchy. Main drive system is offline. We're floating dead in space. Lots of super da superficial damage, too. Anyway, I'm working on it, but I could use more hands on deck. Anyone who could follow basic instructions will do. The Argo is an enormous ship, and that code made an absolute mess of her. Understood. Sumiri, I need you to fetch our people, everyone but me and Yang. Get them back to the Argo and do whatever Dr. Murad tells you. Roger that, Lady Arano. I'll be there in a moment. Tell the Lance to prepare for extraction. Uh, Lady Arano? What are we doing? What we came here for. We're going inside. I didn't bring us all this way to leave empty-handed. Captain Grigas, are your ship and crew ready? Aye, Lady Arano. The Delphinus is fully loaded and ready to drop. Good. Meet us at the north entrance. And hurry. We don't have much time before our unwelcome guests arrive. And this, this part's really cool. Affirmative. Recovery team inbound. House Corosis is proud to serve the restoration, my lady. Thank you, Captain. Ready yourself, Yang. I'm taking us inside. Mission successful. <laughs> chickens. <laughs> uh, well, thank you, Darkstar, for the lurk. I appreciate it. So we made some decent scratch off that. Two million just on that. And now, now we have the mission that gave us trouble last time for some reason. And we took a lot more damage this time. Lost a freaking arm. We lost an entire location. That sucked so bad. But whatever. It is what it is. Uh, all right. Do we have anything really good here. Let's see. Okay. These are the really good stability. Yeah. Uh, in my experience, these are awesome. They tend to knock down things really well. Um, oh, fuck. Yeah. All right. Fine. <laughs> That's a really good SRM six. We got to go with that. Yeah. So I think I only have like, yeah, I have none. I have none. We have to, have, we have to take that. Okay, but we got two really good PPCs. These are, in my opinion, the best PPCs. I actually prefer the 30 stability damage PPCs to even the uh, the 3 plus PPC. But anyway, um, and I actually like the plus PPCs more than the ER PPCs. To me, the ERs, at least in this game, generate just too much heat for what they're worth. Now, for MechWarrior 5, I actually do prefer the ER version of the PPC, even though it generates that extra heat but the projectile goes a little faster. So at least for me, it's worth the extra heat because I'm much more accurate with the ER PPC. In this game, not so much luck. Let's see, did it give me the extra PPC anyway? No, that's all right. But it did give us the plus four accuracy AC5. So that was nice of it. As soon as the game runs to cinematic here. My God, that's beautiful. Atlas twos, Highlander 732Bs. It's so beautiful. It's fucking assholes. Attention, forces of the Urano Restoration. I am Commodore Samuel Ostergaard of the Concord Navy. You are surrounded by a battalion of the Torian Concordate's most decorated mech warriors. On behalf of our allies, the Oregon Directorate, I demand your immediate and unconditional surrender. But I know you won't stand down, Lady Arano. You're the sword of restoration. 
You have a reputation to uphold. And that's good. I wouldn't have it any other way. I'm going to enjoy painting the ice red with your blood. And, naturally, everyone completely shits themselves at this. Farah, Farah, I need a status report. What's your condition up there? The Argo's main drive is still offline. I'm working on an en en engineering. I think I've got the malicious code isolated, but it's already done a lot of damage. What's your status, Lady Arano? We're on the move. Torian Marines have taken the outpost castle. Most of our salvage team is dead. Yang sealed the mech bay doors, but they won't hold for long. There are only five of us left, me, Yang, and three of the mech warriors from the Delphinus. We're on our way to the surface and the few mechs that Mang Yang managed to get running. Heads up, Lady Rana, when you reach the surface, you're gonna have company. I'm picking up a Torian recon lance standing just outside the main doors. Of course, recon lances being light in general, they tend to be faster and they get to where they're going faster than everybody else, so that makes sense. Acknowledge, Ms. Meyer, the recon lance doesn't worry me. When they see what we're piloting, they'll wish they had stayed home. I'm just glad that you and Yang are still alive. Is he holding up okay? I'm riding through a frozen hellscape in a pressure cooker on legs, getting shot at by ancient robots and a bunch of damned Torians. I've had better days. Look, can anybody tell me why the Torians are fighting for Espinoza? And what this Ostergaard guy has against us specifically? Because this is some grade A bullshit right here. And he's so right. So, uh, being from the Magistry of Cannabis, I have long since given up trying to understand why the Torians do anything. They shouldn't be fighting us, damn it. They shouldn't even be here at all. Aside from us at Corosis, nobody should know anything about Castle Nautilus. So how the hell did they know how to find us here? And this is my part. My only gripe with this is how quickly Darius figures this out, but he didn't figure this out before this. Um, best guess, the Torians were tipped off by Espinoza. And that means we've got ourselves a mole. I'll bet you anything I know who it is, too. Otto Corosis. Remember what Lord Corosis told us? His son returned from Weldry a different person. The director had played with his mind and broke him somehow. Yeah, he's a uh, Manchurian candidate. You think they brainwashed him? It's possible. I'll send warning to Smithen as soon as I'm able, but right now the only things that matter are fixing this ship and getting Kamea away from the Torian border. The Restoration dies if she's captured. Don't worry, Mer Lord Madeira. We have we'll have Samiri pick them up directly. Hate to be the bearer of bad news, but the Argo's docking clamps are locked tight. Damn things won't budge. Until Farah fixes whatever that thing did to the ship, the Leopard is out of commission. I'm working on it. If I could get the doors to engineering open, we can manually release the clamps. Okay. Let us know if we could do anything to help. Will do. Please, Lady Rano, keep yourself alive. I'll fix this, I promise. Roger that, Farah. We'll hold out for as long as we can. This elevator is accelerating. We're almost at the surface. Any second now, these doors are going to open and we'll need some place to go. Darius, what are our options? Best bet, the Delphinus. Lord Corosis' other support ships have either fled or been destroyed, but the Delphinus is still on the planet's surface, and she's within sprinting distance of the castle gates. She's currently powered down. I don't think the Torians have detected her yet. If you can make it out there, Captain Grigus and his crew should be able to extract you. That's the plan then. Dr. Murad will have until we get there to fix the Argo. Any longer and we're all dead. Renegade, I need you to stay on comms and guide us through this. That's what you're paying me for. The elevators just come to a stop. Lights in here are flashing. Any second the doors are going to slide open. Mech warriors, ready yourselves for action. If we don't get them off that planet, we're going to lose our chief mech tech and our most important client. That can't be allowed to happen. You've got this, Marcus. Guide our people home. All right. Now this fucking mission. <laughs> take what? Three? Big take three? We're going to try this the real way. And if, um, if we don't make it through it this way, we're going to crack out the Velveeta and cheese it just to get through it. Command interface initiated. <laughs> Lady Camille of the Arena Rana Restoration, on behalf of the Torian Concordat, I hereby command you to... Oh shit, Iberia, they're piloting SLDF battle mechs. We need reinforcements now. Mech warriors, our way home is on the other side of these Torians. Push through them and fight. 
for the reach. Just a heads up. When we get to a safe distance, I'm gonna set off a little surprise I left behind for our Torian friends. Surprise? You'll see. Trust me. You're gonna love it. <laughs> Fucking Yang. It has to be done. And it always manages to hit the Atlas with that stray shot. It's amazing. But still, these are a bunch of light mechs against a bunch of Star League, medium, and heavy mechs. Well, two assaults. Because we got a Highlander and an Atlas too with us. But that Black Knight can output a lot of damage. But it also heats up like I've a got fucking a furnace. Alright. So. Ready. Let's see. I think we're going to try to do. Let's see. Do I shoot the commando or do I. Well, let's go up here first. Got it. Get some elevation here. Get away from that fucking flamer. I think the plan is to shoot a commando because it doesn't have as much armament and we can light it up here. Locking in. All weapons. There we go. We already destroyed the left arm and the torso. Good. Good, good. Scored a critical hit. So there are a number of strategies. That's one of the things that makes this game fun is there are so many different ways to approach the same map. So trying it the quote unquote real way is I think what we're going to try to do here is we're going to do a little bit of King of the Hill. We're going to control the high ground and just try to take care of the, the recon lands first. Receiving you. So I'm going to back up here and I think it's time. You know what? Let's uh. Hmm. Feel like that would be a waste. Well, let's back Moving up. Out. That commando shouldn't take a lot of damage to destroy. This commando's hurting. It's only got 146 total armor. But we can't focus fire yet. And we're only going to hit a little more than half the time. So, you know what? Let's do that. Yeah, let's just light up the commando and we'll destroy the commando. Firing a full salvo. And if it doesn't destroy this mech, there we go. Good. Let's just destroy it outright. Not fuck around. Target neutralized. I don't even know if that mech got a chance to go, which is really weird. Hopefully all the evasion helps with this. Good. Damage minimal. Deal. All right. Yeah. That's the only problem with this. Fucking can't hit with shit, man. All right. But you know what? That might be what we do with this. Okay. Let's. Let's do that. We'll back up, which normally this is like we're, we're playing King of the Hill here. So I'm not looking to get away from the doors all that fast here. Go with this for better targeting. Let's. Confirmed. Oh, well, that works, too. <laughs> that definitely works for me. I'm listening. Yeah, let's just roll over here to the side and let's deal with that Jenner, I think. I'll make roll it over here. Yes. Let's take care of the sh that Shadowhawk because the Shadowhawk can do the most amount of damage the, of everything that's up here. Perfect. I love it when we destroy the head. <laughs> nice shot, Kamea. If 
fire starter is going to heat up the enemy flanking. Yeah, that's a little lame, but whatever. That's all right. I'll flank the fire starter and then it's over. Right now, it should be able to go before the Jenner does, though. The only thing that helps is that we have significantly better mechs than all these guys. Uh, yeah, this is going to be fine. Because we'll try to take out the Jenner here. Affirmative. I mean, the fire starter just went, so fuck it. Let's let's just try to take out the Jenner here. Roger that. There we go. Perfect. Well, we destroyed the legs. That works for me. Well, we'll get a lot of salvage out of this. Hostile eliminated. So we'll limit what can shoot at us. Because they're all going to have to come through this. This kind of... Uh, they're all going to have to come through this terrain. So at this point, we're just going to use the terrain aye, aye. In our, to our advantage. We'll do that. Try and turn the very crest of this hill into a shooting gallery. Confirmed. Rather than what we've generally done was try to make a mad dash to the um, to the dropship. Inflicted some heavy damage. Oh, right. The fire starters uh, spotting for them. So even though these guys can't see me because of the stupid fire starter, they yep. can see us. Yeah, let's just do this. Confirmed. We'll cool off and hopefully we'll destroy the fire starter here. For physical attack. There we go. Perfect. Nice shot, Charybdis. Hostile removed. Very good. Don't think I can do anything else. Reading loud and clear. Well, if I advance, we could shoot this guy. Yeah, maybe we'll just do this. We won't advance that much, but I'll advance just Copy enough that. that we could shoot. Ugh, really? All right, what about? Uh... Wow, that's not great. That's pretty terrible. All right, vigilance for sure. Because we definitely need to boost her hit points. And you know what? Yeah, then fine. Let's just boost her ability to shoot. And let's at least do some damage to this thing. That works. You were definitely going to do vigilance a lot more this time. This village, I mean, vigilance just makes you so much more survivable. Reserve. Let's let them come to us. That's it, Jenner. Kill your evasion, whatever. That's perfect. So it advanced, and the reason it did that is because now it can spot for these guys, and these can now use long-ranged weapons, assuming they have a targeting arc, which apparently they don't. Works for me. Orders. We'll do that. Yep. Advanced to Black out. Knight. I probably will fire everything except that ER PPC. Because that ER PPC just heats up so much. Oh, now we can lose a lot of heat. And we're still going to make this Jenner's life an absolute miserable experience. Living hell. We might even destroy the... No, we didn't destroy it. Target's taking a critical hit. Still not bad. Unfortunately, now you're getting shot at because I couldn't destroy the uh, Griffin in time. Barely a hit, Commander. Commander? Let's uh, let's do that, and what we'll do is we'll aim up here. That way we can distribute the weapons load. Since they're going to target me anyway, I may as well at least give them a better showing. All right, fire. Targeting alpha strike. Come on, there we go. Got it. Target All right. Enough is bullshit with these guys just shoot shoot me all day fucking long. Uh you know, we may just brace here. What do you need? Yeah, you know what? Let's let's brace. We'll start a front line. I'm gonna jump and I'm just gonna brace. This works. 
have my attention. Oh, we could have fought, shot one of them, but I don't want to be that exposed. So let's just back up. We'll back up a little Sounds bit. Good. I'm moving. They are definitely going to focus fire on her. And I want her taking as few shots at this point as possible. So that's okay. We'll just brace. Back on my bullshit because I switched browsers so the stream audio doesn't bleed into the... Ah, watch party. I'm going, going to my Discord server. Nice. Okay. Waiting for orders. Yeah, all right, fine. Let's, let's shoot the panther. On my way. Not exactly moving a lot, but it's fine. I'm gonna have you do vigilance because they are shooting the shit out of you. Roger. That was that was good. Nice little armor blow through. We'll fuck up this panther. It's a nice miss there. Take that. All right, this time we're actually having more of a traditional fight. Standing <laughs> by. Uh, no, let's just. Yes. All right. So the question is, do I try to go for the enforcer or the panther? No. Yes, commander. Can you try not to be difficult with me on this one. There we go. Yeah, let's go for the panther. Yeah, let's go for the panther. I'd rather destroy this panther if I can. <laughs> Would have been better if we'd blown off this part because that's where its PPC is, but we'll take it. Glad I did vigilance on you. At least you'll take a little less damage. I may have to torso twist it so it shows the arm that doesn't have anything yep. really on it. Yeah, let's go for max... Uh... Yes. Okay. Okay. So this is what we're doing. We'll advance the Highlander. Multi-target. Panther. And we'll shoot the vehicle with the gauze rifle because the, it's it's almost guaranteed destruction of that vehicle. Because the gauze rifle automatically does five internal damage. Perfect. Hopefully we get a double kill here. Let's go for the double kill. Got it. Perfect. Enemy vehicle destroyed. Right. Tell me what you need. Let's, uh, let's go over here, I think. Yeah, we'll shoot this enforcer. I'm on my way. And just for the shits and giggles of it. Yeah, that's not enough. Well, let's try and focus its fire on the on, it. on the center torso. Maybe we could core it early. Probably not. I don't think enough things hit the same location. Whoa, we blew off both of its torsos, though. So that was nice. Standing by. Yes, let's try to knock this guy over. Coordinates received. Any luck? I want to target him. Knock this fucker over. Or kill him. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Well, at least we knocked him down. Battletech introduced me to the concept of a gauze rifle, but Fallout showed me its power. Yes, that is so true. The gauze rifle in Fallout is fucking awesome. I love the gauze rifle in Fallout. It is the best shit ever. Waiting for orders. Uh, yeah. We'll, we'll do that. I like this plan. Let's, uh... Let's go for the enforcer. Moving to position. think we've got anything showing up over here yet good yeah let's let's try and take out that 
I copy. We got this. Unfortunately, the gauze rifle was bugged when it came to vats, so it never got. Aww. Oh, that sucks, Tango man. Down. So, one of the best vats sniper weapons in the game is in Fallout is the six crank laser musket. Because you can crank it six times, go into vats, target either a head or in the case of a death claw, its belly, and do a critical hit. And you're doing essentially 12 times the fucking damage with that thing. That combination, I never had anything, even at full health, survive a hit from it. It just deletes everything. And that's not even counting if the laser musket is a, um... What do you need? Is a, um... Let's move. A legendary musket or not. All right. So... should still the guys rifle really should just kill everything so you know what let's just keep those we'll fire the lasers just in case the guys rifle misses i'm taking the shot good all right so now we've wiped out these fuckers they're not even going to get to go stay down. oh we exited combat all right well okay so one thing we are going to do is we're going to sprint we're still going to sprint Ooh. uh that's a good question that's a good question. So we had we have we have a decision. We have a strategic decision to make. We could just start sprinting this direction because we know this is the direction we really need to go. And we could have Reynard go this way just because he's faster and he'll get back into the combat faster. Um or we could just hang around up here still and play a little command and control and try to destroy all the mechs on the field. We could try that. So that's the better question. What do we, what do we want to do here? We ended up getting through that without taking all that much damage. Reynard is the one who took the most amount of damage. I do like the idea of having a decent amount of evasion though. But I think what we can do is, you know what? We're going to brace you. Flushing heat. We'll jump you. We'll jump you back. Understood. So I still think I'm tr gonna try to at least sprint a little bit. Yeah, we'll just move you back. Uh, move. Move you back one. That oh, way you're God. braced. No, 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 no. Ah. Uh, fine. It braced him automatically. That sucked. All right, sprint this way. You'll get there faster. <laughs> I did not want to brace Renald, but at least he vented heat, so it worked out. Yeah, we'll, uh... Move. Move one. We're gonna... We're gonna play a little King of the Hill here, I think. We're just gonna use this terrain to our maximum advantage here. We'll jump, because I think jumping does add a level of difficulty. Uh, for me, it was the an assault rifle with the Cairo legendary perk with all the VAT stat. That is a great, you know, I never thought about that. That is a great combination. Holy shit. Because the physics engine gets cranked up during VATs. Yep. <laughs> You're going to launch Team Rocket style. I bet. Oh my God. Yeah. Yeah. No, seriously. Holy shit, isn't it? My God. That's, uh, yeah. I bet. Holy fuck. <laughs> Get launched into fucking outer space. Roger that. All right, this will trigger this part of it, and then we'll have more reinforcements showing up in a second. This is Lady Orano to the Ara ARS Delphinus. Captain Grigus, do you read me? Lady Orano, thank the gods. We've got a visual on you and your lance. Get your people on board, and we'll get you out of here. Thank you, Cap. Uh, wait, what was that? I told you you would die here. Run, Lady Orano. Run as far as you can. I will find you all the same. It was an unarmed support ship, you animal. There was no need for you to target it. Tell that to the crew of the Newgrange. How do you know about that? Ostergaard, answer me. He cut the line. What's the status of the Leopard, Doc? Doc and clamps are still locked down tight, but I've opened the doors to engineering. We can manually disengage the clamps from there. That's why a rifle went from being named Chill Kangaroo to No Chill Kangaroo. <laughs> That's awesome. 
I wish I'd thought of that. I'll go prep her for takeoff. Darius, I'll need your help with the clamps. Yeah, I'm on it. Lady Arano, I suggest you head deeper into the valley. They'll have a harder time targeting you with their, their artillery in there. And keep your eyes on the sky. Meyer will be on her way directly. Yeah, now we gotta look out for these ranges. If any of our mechs are in here, they basically get destroyed. So that part sucks. So now we got new mechs incoming here. So we got process here. And then in a second, they all get to go. We got an unknown mech, an unknown mech. I think these are assault mechs. But now we've cleaned up the field by uh, destroying everything here. Uh. Standing oh, by. okay. Thank God. <laughs> I was like, oh God, oh God. Um, so I guess the question is, do I want to have some movement while we get them up here? I think yes. And the advantages of moving over here, we'll have the rocks in the way. That should prevent them from completely focusing fire on us. I'm moving out. So we'll go over here and we'll, we'll block. We'll dodge. I'll have cribbed his jump. Yeah, I think I'll have you jump. Yeah, you know what? I think I'll jump over here. That should be good. But yeah, we'll have you jump over here. Because the Highlander is a fantastic sniper. The Black Knight is what's going to take the most amount of damage by far. We'll back you up. Because in the previous two attempts on this, the Black Knight is what got destroyed first. You fucking sprint in this direction. I need you over here in the fight. <laughs> Get back over here, Rinald. So that was a failure. <laughs> Our way home got destroyed. New plan. All right, now we enter combat. Interesting choice. We're going to reserve. Let's try and get them to scale up the cliff. It was one of the worst missions you could ever have in an, at least in an, a real life military scenario is to do a cliff Waiting assault. The right they're, they're the absolute worst. That's the one thing you don't, you never want to be given. Ah, eh, shit. All right. Do any of you have sensor lock? I don't think any of you do. Yeah. Ooh, Kamea has sensor lock. So I could do sensor lock and we could fire at these guys at long range. Huh, you know what? Let's try that. Let's try sensor locking. Let's try sensor locking this asshole. I've got a sensor lock. Fuck him. Of course, now they're going to go and try to get into range. But that's fine. Good to go. Can't, uh... All right, well, I can jump here fire at you. I think I'm within range, though. Damn, it really sucks. I really am not in range anywhere else. Right, what about Kribbis? Yep. Can you jump? Yeah, let's do that. Let's shoot you with the gauze rifle. Now, I've got breaching shot, but I think I'd rather do... I'd rather do damage, more damage, because this is only minus 20% damage, but the LRM-20s do a whole lot more than that. I'd rather just cut through that. Yeah. Boom. Don't need to do breaching shot. Yeah, no critical hit. But we'll do some damage. Fuck this griffin. Anytime you could do damage to them and they can't do damage to you, that's, that's a nice tactical win. Ready for orders. So we'll move over here. Yep. Question is, can I hit you from anywhere else? Nope. That's it. All right. Coordinates received. Still think I'm too far away. The problem is, I do think they're going to shoot that Black Knight in a second. That's fine. Affirmative. That's all right. Let's at least really try to put the pressure on this Griffin. Orders. Heading out. Shoot you at the ERPPC and call it a day. Man, this is a breaching shot. Cool. Fire. Perfect. My forces are closing in on you, Lady Urano. Your time is running out. Hey, okay, it's disengaging. <laughs> yeah, let the Griffin disengage. That works for me. Ah, this Vindicator. Yep, I had a feeling it would shoot at the Black Knight. That's okay. 
Heavy damage. So Nalda went. Waiting for orders. Let's see if I go here. Yeah, let's go up here. We'll give you something else to shoot at. Move order received. Maybe I should have jumped, but I'd rather have this going. Uh, yeah, I'll have Canalda do vigilance in a second. And at least he'll take a little less damage. Commander. Uh, and where's my evasion? There we go. That's some nice evasion. Perfect. Yep. Position we can spot confirmed. both. Works for me. That way, in case I destroy this Vindicator, we'll be golden. Vigilance works. And let's, yeah, let's try and take out, let's try and focus fire, take out this Vindicator. Target confirmed. Try and focus some of that fire and be a little efficient. Okay, well, that works. Critical hit, Commander. What do you need? I jumped. I went too far away. All right, fine. Let's jump a little closer. I'll shoot you with the gauze rifle and the uh, LRMs. I went too far away on that one. I mean, I could. Yeah, it's fine. Let's go with this. Perfect. Come on. We're hitting the right location. Yes. The directorate must fall. Fuck these guys. Tango down. The assault mechs are really the problem, though. The, fortunately, the assault mechs go so slow, they'll take a little yes, while to join you. the far to join the party. So a question. That was a little closer. Eh. All right. So let's just advance one and just shoot you with those. We're going to be a little conservative with Kamea here. This should be fine. In on the target. Do some more damage to this Griffin. Critical hit? No, no critical hit. Eh, that's all right. When in doubt, shoot them in the asshole. I mean, exhaust port. <laughs> Lady Irano, we've got incoming assault mechs. Yep. Yeah, the assault mechs are a problem. obstacle to overcome. For the restoration. Fucking artillery. The artillery really isn't that big of a problem, but it does control where we can kind of sit. So that, that can be a problem. For sure. Yes, Commander. So, may as well jump. Yeah, I may as well jump up here. Yeah, let's just jump up here. We'll give him something else to shoot at. The only difference is I've got a shit ton of evasion. Well, maybe we'll hit that torso. Nope. Well, we still blew through its armor. And impaired its sensors. That's always nice. But we reduced its damage. So, I'm... It's just as well it attacked the Black Knight. Waiting for orders. Vigilance. Yes. Now the question is. Yes, I think I just stand tall. And we just light up this griffin. Fire it. Wow, we hit its head twice. Holy fuck! We blew up both of its torsos. Solid connection on that one. I was right, that was a head hit. Yeah, we're really messing up this, uh... Ah. Yeah. Oh. Sorry. Let's see. Wow, this sucks. I can only hit that fucking griffin with LRMs no matter what I do. Unless I jump back. Alright, fine. We'll jump back a little bit. Acknowledge. We'll get the... We'll line up the shot. We'll shoot it with the gauze rifle and the LRMs. I think we're gonna kill this griffin here. Okay, I'm on it. Yep. I was pretty sure we were going to take out the Griffin there. There we go. Step one, insert Graz rifle and exhaust for step two, fire. Watch pilot get yeeted into space. <laughs> An externally mounted ejection system. <laughs> oh man, that's fucking awesome. 
Oh, that's great. All right, so let's uh, let's advance. All right, now we got this battle master to worry about. Let's advance you because we know they're gonna focus fire on Kamea. It's it's generally what they do, but we're gonna use that to our advantage this time. We're gonna do vigilance, a lot, and yeah, fire on that battle master. Let's just let's start. Do a little bit of damage to it. Let them come to us. We've got high ground, and they kind of have to go through a narrow pass here. They really don't have that many options. Interesting, they're going after the Griffin. Despite all that evasion. Losing lots of armor. I will rain fire on your lance and smile as it burns. <laughs> Commander. Uh yeah, let's see. Yeah, let's see. I just stay put. I might just stay put and fire here. I think I'd rather have them shoot the Black Knight than Kamea. Battlemaster. And we're going to strip off a lot of armor off this Battlemaster if we start doing that. Of course, we could just start advancing on this now. But I think I like the idea of staying up here and letting them continue. Because there's still this awesome over here that has no line of sight to us. It can't shoot the PP its PPC bolts through all this rock. This awesome is going to have to go around this way. Although it probably will go around this way and be able to shoot at us, but... Um, that being the case, I'm up here, and I think that's still a better place for me, just to avoid that awesome. I don't think the awesome can fire through there. I think I'll just shoot. I think I'll just shoot at the battle master here, and I'll have Kamea do uh, vigilance. Yeah, let's let's fuck up this battle master if we can. We'll at least impair its sensors so it can't do as much damage to us. Losing a lot of armor now. Ready. You, on the other hand, you're gonna jump up here. Yes. Jump it. Make you hard to hit. Just try to. Fuck. Uh, you know what? Yeah, let's do vigilance on you. Because you're going to get shot at a lot up there, I'm sure. Good. We're already getting through its armor. Killed a heat sink. Granted, in the frozen tundra of this, of this realm, probably not that big a deal. Let's see. There we go. Now we're talking. All right. We're going to sit right up here. I think I'm still going to do vigilance on you, even though I haven't been shot at. But why fuck around? Once I shoot you with this, I think I'm going to get your attention. <laughs> come on, come on, come on. There we go. Maybe knock down? Well, we unstated it. Come on, shoot at the Atlas. You know you want to shoot at the Atlas. Yeah. Well, I'm glad I did vigilance on him, although it missed anyway. You. Damn. Fuck. I'm just so out of position up here. Yeah. At this point, my plan is working sort of against me here. If I go over there, though, I can knock the Battlemaster over. All right, fine. Let's just jump over here. Oh, Cryptus the sniper here. We're knocking we're definitely knocking over the battlemaster at this point. Confirmed. There's no way the battlemaster is gonna stay standing. Scored a critical hit. So the battlemaster is gonna be done here. Depending on its pilot we may end up incapacitating its pilot here's the problem this awesome is awful but we basically managed to stave off it attacking us for like two whole rounds that's not too bad armor blow through that's a it's lot of rounds damage. where we didn't take ppc fire and we've probably already destroyed the battle master yeah i'm gonna have to i'm probably gonna have to jump 
Reynard out of out of sight for a minute. At least break their minimal damage. At least break their focus fire on him. There we go. Yeah, yeah, shoot her. At this point, yeah, please shoot her. <laughs> she's taking half damage and she's most well armored out of everybody. Yeah, more artillery. All right, you. I think. I think what I'm going to do... Wow, yeah, that's going to be a problem. I definitely need to make sure you guys can't target that. All right, so we're going to do that. Do that. Vigilance. Let's go for the kill shot here. Yes. I know I kind of wanted to save it for Kamea, but... She doesn't need it as much as he does. There we go. Goodbye, Battlemaster. Now it's four on two. Yes, Commander. Advance one. Yeah, let's advance one. My way. There's no way we could. Hmm? Yeah, we'll do that, and we'll regain a lot of our heat. Start messing up the Zeus here. Yeah, normally this, this mission runs like a firefight, but I chose to do it a little differently this time uh, in that... Oh, we got a move action here. Yeah, let's back up. We'll back up. I'm on the move. Back up a little bit. And fire. All weapons, lock on and firing. Good, it's center torso is the one... Yeah, yeah, let's destroy a little... A couple of heat sinks there. If you had any sense, you'd retreat. <laughs> I've never heard her say that smack talk. That's awesome. And yeah, armor blow through on the Black Knight. Where's all my armor? All right. How badly are you hurt? Torso, huh? All right. Left torso. I'll have to pivot you in a minute. Yeah. Uh, come on. Fine. We'll do... Yep, I think we'll just continue to focus fire on the Zeus here. I think that's the smarter play. We might even destroy the Zeus here, depending on where these where these hit. Got it. <laughs> so this is so far going better, but we still don't want to fuck around. Standing by. Got it. Advance up you. Keeping our limbs twisted away from it. Let's at least scramble its sensors so it hits with fewer of those PPCs. Perfect. Ready for orders. Good. Let's uh yeah, let's get a clearer shot. We'll do that. And we're definitely shooting you with our PPC. That will help. Give it a nice mean Engaging. debuff. Perfect. Yeah, give a nice PPC crit. Fuck this guy. Scored a critical hit. And what's it doing? Backing up. Interesting. <laughs> yeah, it's still hit with two. But better hitting only with two than three. I'm convinced that it missed with the third because of the uh, sensor yep. damage we did to it. Yeah, unfortunately... Still. Still don't like that we're not really getting Copy a good that. line of sight with the Highlander, but at least I'm getting the Highlander closer. Kind of using the terrain that I was using Hi against on. it, but it's working against me a little bit. But I'm still hitting with that gauze rifle and the LRM-20s. That's where most of the Highlander's damage comes from anyway. So it's okay to be having it kind of off at a need. distance like that. Yeah, I'm, I'm okay with that. I'll make it happen. I am very okay with this. I like the odds of an Atlas 2 versus an awesome while we're putting on the, the punishment here. Fuck this Every asshole. Oh, we might have destroyed that torso. Yep. Goodbye, left torso. We're going to knock this fucker over in a second. Commander? 
Of course, it's probably going to stand right back up, but whatever. Him. Yeah. Just in case. The advantage is by knocking it over, even if we don't get a called shot on it. The uh, sheer penalty to hit for getting knocked down should keep it from hitting with as many of those PPCs. Critical hit, Commander. I think these guys are finally regretting Standing fucking by. with us. <laughs> uh, left? Yeah, that's the left torso. Okay, yep, let's lean the left torso away from me. Let's go a little closer and we'll go in for the kill here. You guys fucked up. There we go. One left target. Well then. That's one way to do this mission. <laughs> Roger. Let's get it down a little further. Go ahead and run, Lady Camilla. You won't get far. I bunk. We interrupted his smack talk. <laughs> We might have destroyed that torso while the woman's match I'm watching is featuring multiple chops to the chest. <laughs> Perfect. I love it when things just come together like that. Your son was aboard the Newgrange, wasn't he? That's what this is about. He was the captain of the Newgrange. You spoke with him. I listened to his flight recorder. I heard you order his death. If that is the truth, then you know that I asked him to stand down. He was under orders. He couldn't stand down. But even if he could, do you think it would matter? He was my son. Nothing you say or do can make this right. The only restitution I will accept is your death. And so, Lady Arano, I am coming for you. Pray that your uncle's soldiers reach you before I do. Location confirmed. Heading out. Confirmed. <laughs> so yeah, um, playing King of the Hill was definitely a better strategy than than the cheese we tried to do the other night. This was a much better plan. Got it. Location confirmed. Actually, I think this is the first Rocket. time I've... Hmm, have I... Have I ever gotten all four pilots Holy. to survive this thing before? I feel like that isn't the first time I've gotten all four to survive, but it might be. And bracing. This might be the first time I've actually gotten all four to survive this bullshit. Cooling down. I'll do what I can. I've got you, Lady Arano. Setting a return course to the Argo. We need to fall back to restoration space while we can. Thank you, Ms. Meyer. And you, Commander. You've saved my life. The both of you. I wouldn't be so sure about that. If the Torians, my people, are on the Directorate side, I don't know how, if any of us will ever be safe again. Mission successful. Much better. <laughs> Jesus. All right. So we've gone from being well around a million sea bills to about five million sea bills. So we definitely made some money. We got a wow, Charybdis got all the fucking kills. <laughs> but this shows you how amazing the Highlander really is. Even though the Atlas II is more heavily armored, um, Highlander is such an amazing mech. It really is. All right, so let's take a look at our salvage. I don't think we're going to have too much in the way of really good salvage. Although you do get something mandated that ends up being really awesome. Uh, all right, so let's go with, all right, so let's go with the Battlemaster. We'll go with the Awesome. We'll go with the Zeus, since they're the Assault Mech Salvages. And uh, I guess we'll go with the Jenner and hope it gives us a little extra Jenner Salvage. Well, it didn't. It gave us the Shadowhawk instead and a little Firestarter Salvage. That works out. Cool. And our mech warriors gain some primo XP. Time to make it rain in the Battletech champagne room. Yeah. <laughs> so now we get a campaign reward, which is awesome. 
once the intermission actually loads, for some reason, the intermissions are... There we go. This isn't over, Lady Arano. I will find you. And my son will be avenged. Pray that your uncle's soldiers reach you before I do. Way to rain on the parade. Commodore Killjoy. All right, damage report. All right, that was a nightmare, but I think we're finally through it. I've quarantined the Locura in secondary storage and I've shut down the drive. It can't hurt us anymore. Excuse me, Doc. The what? The malicious code from Nautilus. That's what I'm calling it now, the Locura. Like Lady Arano's story. It needed a name and this seemed as appropriate as anything else. Any objections? I don't care what we call it, Doc. I just want to know what we're going to do with it. What we're going to do is leave it alone. Second storage is now officially off limits. That means no more Star League maps, no more hidden archive, nothing. Put some yellow tape around it if you have to. Whatever you have to do to remind yourselves, just don't touch it. Nobody will touch anything or they'll have me to answer to. Sumeria was right. This entire sorry episode was a terrible mistake. Uh, all right, we're still alive, Lady Arano. We even recovered a few battle mechs. I'm calling that a win. Don't know if I'd go that far, but I'm glad we're still breathing. Are you sure that the rest of the Argo systems are secure? Uh, Farah? I mean, really sure? <sighs> if they weren't, we wouldn't be having this conversation. I'm about 90% certain that the code was trying to detonate our fuel reserves. If it were still doing damage, the Argo probably would have exploded by now. Uh, this Lacura, this code, what the hell is it? It's a research project, I think. Some kind of experiment. The file was housed in a research archive labeled SDS-M2. It seemed to have something to do with an old space defense program that used robot drones to shoot down warships. I know it sounds ridiculous, like some kind of periphery campfire story, but it's the best I've got to go on. From what I could put together, they were researching something that had gone wrong with the drones, the M2 models. It seems that there was an accident and the drones malfunctioned, and they killed a lot of people. The scientists at Nautilus were tearing the code apart, trying to isolate what had happened, until they happened, until they stopped for some reason, sealed up the whole archive and quarantine and never touched it again. That's the best I can give you. Like I said, I don't have a complete picture. There were hundreds of variants of the file sealed away in the Nautilus memory core, and I only opened the one. And all things considered, that's probably for the best. Now, I don't like the idea of keeping this code on the ship. Can you delete it? With respect, Commander, that wouldn't be a very good idea. To delete the code, I'd need to boot up the drive. Far safer to just leave it powered down. I've air-gapped it from the rest of the ship's systems, so it should be perfectly safe. Hello, Cat. Couldn't we physically destroy it by slagging the drive? I mean, not doing anything right now, and I know where the rifles are kept. I couldn't nip this thing in the bud in about 30 seconds. I wouldn't recommend it. In the unlikely event that I miss something, I may need to re-examine the Lacura, and I can't do that if you slag the drive. This is a worst case scenario, mind you. I'd strongly prefer if I never had to look at that godforsaken code again, but we shouldn't just throw it away. All right, you all heard the doc. Hands off secondary storage. Let's move on. We have other problems to discuss. Like the fact that we're fighting the Torians now? Sure, let's talk about that. How the hell did that happen? I mean, I get that we killed the Commodore's son, but people die every day. Nations usually don't go to war over them. I think that the Directorate has been in bed with the Torians for a while now, Yang. That's where their weapons have been coming from. If ships like the Newgrange have been running weapons to the Directorate since our victory on Weldry, and the Newgrange was a Torian vessel, it stands to reason that Espinosa and Protector Calderon have been doing business on the sly ever since the war started. And Darius is right. Right now, the why of it doesn't matter. The Torians have just declared war on the Restoration, and that changes everything. Alexander, I need you to contact Lady Centrella and arrange a war council. Maybe she can help us dig ourselves out of this. I'll need you there as well, Commander. Be ready to set a course for Raldry. <laughs> Roger that, Lady Arano. When we hear from you, we'll come running. Good. In the meantime, I must return to our people. In the face of the Torian war machine, I fear that our systems may begin to abandon us. The founding houses that have already liberated, that we've already liberated, rather, need to see that our cause isn't lost. You sure about that? Because for where I'm standing, things aren't looking good. I will find us a way out of this, Mr. Vertinen. I swear it on my father's name. And thanks for your help on Archer. I offer you this Star League-era Highlander, Renegade. 
May it carry you to victory in the days to come. That mech you wanted is yeah. back on the Highlander 732B is an ancient model from the Star League days. Its gauze rifle was a terrifying weapon that gave it a huge punch at almost any range. But you can't find those anymore. And of course, it still has the jump capability it's always been known for. Ah, and then of course, we're still in deep in Directorate space, so we really can't do shit. All right, so yeah, we got mech repairs to do. Let's do all those. And um, since I didn't mention this when it happened, Yang destroying the um, the hangar with all the Star League mechs. Can you imagine if the Restoration had access to all of those? The rest of this would have been a cakewalk. But if the Torians had them, we would the, the war would be over. There would, there would be no way to fight the Torians and all those Star League mechs. So Yang's decision to destroy them all was absolutely necessary, but you can sort of see how the succession wars happened. Decisions like that, where you had incredibly advanced um, technological wonders that we, that essentially the powers that be in the inner sphere now don't have the technical expertise to replicate, and you can't allow it to fall in, into enemy hands. You could see how they've kind of gone backwards as far as tech goes. That's why the Star League era stuff is so much better. So the inspiration was after the fall of Rome and things got forgotten. You've got this like interstellar dark age where really, really advanced stuff that had state secrets um, and wasn't really commonly known how to make. That stuff got lost. And once it got destroyed, that was that was all it, uh, that was that was it. So one thing we oh, uh, sorry, let's work on that let's get let's be refunded because yeah we definitely want yeah we want that gyro let's refit so one thing we're going to do is we're going to take the gyro out we'll repair uh repair all i think that's a okay yep perfect got that all right perfect on it you and now we go over to the highlander and let's refit you and okay, so now we have a couple of interesting decisions to make. We get to move the double heat sink over here, which normally is not the best decision because you would normally want something valuable in a center torso instead of an arm that could get blown off. But key here is we want the plus two hit defense gyro. That way the Highlander gets hit less. Weapons, take away the medium lasers. So at least take away two medium lasers, and we're going to replace that with an ER medium laser and an ER medium laser. Okay. And now you see, now you guys see why I wanted to put the ER medium lasers in here. Uh, we can't put the ER small lasers in here yet. At some point, I'm going to need to be able to find a place to put that. In fact, we'll just move the double heat sink over here. Because at some point, we'll be able to put weapons in here. We're going to keep the jump jets because the jump jets are awesome. And this, uh, this mech's ability to jump behind things and core things from behind is amazing. But sadly, this, that's where we're at right now with this. So let's confirm that. Let's Lock take a look at the Marauder. Now we already have a plus hard. five A auto cannon on that. That's pretty decent. All right, I think we're good uh, otherwise. So let's go to the star map and we'll take a look. Oh, we've got a travel contact for Regis Roost, but of course, it's still in director at space, which sucks. We could go to Smith Inn, on guard. We could go to Mechter. Mechter is not a bad place to go. Well, let's see. Well, this isn't all that much further. Yeah, let's just go back here and see if we can buy some better shit. And we'll do some missions while we get back up at speed. And so that was sort of the, the one of the difficulty spikes in the game was this mission. The rest of it now gets Those pretty dicey. Online, right, so now I go to the ship upgrades. We still have got a bunch of money, which is nice. Uh, yes, let's go with the upgraded lounge. That's going to take 20 days. Bit, but we'll get it done. And we continue to advance here. Ready to go yeah, we got a financial report. That's money, money, money. Cost of doing business. And by the time we're back, all my pilots will be healed up anyway. Is complete. Perfect. So everything's now repaired. We've got our mechs upgraded. So the idea is once we find a really good gauze rifle that weighs a little less, we can then pack on those small lasers, the ER small lasers, onto the Highlander. And hopefully we can find another ER medium laser to complement that. And for the most part, the ER medium lasers 
we're going to be hitting everything with the medium lasers regardless of where we are we're not going to have as many scenarios like archeru where you can only hit with the gauze rifle or the lrm unless you're at much further range the er medium lasers are just they're just so much better and you can really kind of maneuver around a lot more it's 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 a, it's also more fun to play oh let's see let's take a look oh medusa technician cool we have an option here moonlighting with a medium laser while pacing through the mech bay on a sleepless night, you stumble across Medusa. It's fiddling with a stock medium laser. A jumbled pile of loose metal and wire litters the deck plating around him. As you approach, Medusa looks up, a sheepish grin on his face. Uh, hello, Commander. I was just trying to tune this beauty. Maybe get a little more performance out of her. Could you do me a favor and keep this from the Chief, though? He's already shooed me out of here once this week. But since he's got technician, let's make him spend a week in the mech bay. Perfect. Suppose that was in storage for a reason, so we can afford to lose it if things go wrong. But really, with your skills, I don't see why we can't work on it during the day without, with supervision. So you'll be working in the mech bay this week. I'll talk to Chief. Uh, I'll talk to the Chief about it. Later that week, Medusa catches you in the hall, glowing with excitement. I did it, Commander. The laser is purring like a kitten now. Well, a kitten that wants to kill mechs. I even managed to replicate the performance specs of the MAGA medium laser. So cool. Instead of having a medium laser, we just got a medium laser plus one. And Medusa will be unavailable for seven days while he works in the mech. That worked. So perfect. That's a nice event. What I really want is an invitation to the fucking black market. For some reason, we haven't quite gotten that yet. But the black market is awesome. We get access to so many better components in the black market, which up until this point really wasn't that big a deal. But now we're starting to get decent amounts of C bills. I mean, we got 4 million C bills. Hey boss, Granted, we're not exactly swimming in money, but we've got enough where, well, let's see. All right, med bays, that's expensive. We could do the structural reinforcement. Let's see, what's the draw? All right, let's try and get this drive upgrade here. High capacity power circuits, okay. I think this will be our next priority. Yeah, we'll go with the structural reinforcement. It costs less and takes the same amount of time. Um, so yeah, the internal supports for the Argo Spine are functional, but without significant rebuilding and reinforcement, the demands of three fully operational hab pods will eventually torque it apart. Uh, torque it apart into scrap. Right, I'll get the team on it so right yeah, away. let's do that. And then we can... Because once we get the drive system upgrade, we'll actually get around a little faster. We can a little be, be a little more efficient with our time. The Argo getting around better is always nice. Spend a little less time in space. But it's funny. The, I have to admit, the Highlander is my favorite mech to pilot. Both uh, both in this game and in mech, especially in Mech Warrior 5. It's nothing better than being in an assault mech that can jump and shoot uh, gauze rifles and shit. And there are a couple of Highlander variants. There's the, um, the 733... Well, okay, so most of the variants are the 733 variety, which is the later version, uh, which isn't, which just isn't as good. Uh, it doesn't have the gauze rifle. There's one that has an AC-10, which isn't all that great, but then there's an energy variant that has a PPC. That thing is fun. Let's visit the store. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. Yeah. Don't really have enough of that. An ER large laser is nice. Okay, we always buy double heat sinks when we can, even though it's expensive, but yes, we definitely need that. New now, if we lose a double heat sink, I don't have to worry about um, what I'm going to do about it. We can just replace it. Man, it really isn't all that great for this, but oh well. Let's see, ER PPC, ER large laser. I mean, we could just buy a large laser. It's really not all that expensive. don't have any so yeah let's do that well no let's try and go for what we need it's unfortunate that we don't really have what we need you know what let's go with a little bit more gauze ammo i don't think i have that much gauze ammo oh we don't have any gauze ammo so yeah, let's buy two replacements of that all right well let's take a look what contracts do we have because we need to do some contracts before the war console starts okay stolen goods team of pirate agents da -da -da -da. All right, so there's an ambush convoy. Uh, ooh, local government, even better. Yep, 
Let's do the capture base. For sure. We always prefer going after the local government instead of other things. Oh, and we can almost get to liked. Oh, we're already liked. So this is good. But yeah, we'll build up a little more pirate rep. Wow, that's a lot of salvage we can we can get from this. Let's see. Would I rather have the money or the salvage? At this point, yeah, let's go with the salvage. Let's do a quick, uh, do a quick little mech thing here. All right, so the Highlander. Oof, okay, not that. Let's put the Archer in here, and yes. Let's go with Behemoth and the Victor. Glitch could stay in the Marauder. That works for me, because at least this way the Marauder goes a little faster. And we'll put, uh, oh, one thing I do want to do. Shit, I forgot. Mech Warriors. Let's spend some XP. Yeah, Cold Shot Mastery. Confirmed, Commander. That will help us Ready hit things. Order. Training with that. Sir, I don't think you've Good got anything. Go. Right, we'll go with you. Yep. Good old training simulators. Yes, Commander. Go with that. Yes. Training confirmed, Commander. Always like. Waiting on you, Commander. Perfect. Let's go with training that. Complete. Upgrade, upgrade, upgrade. Standing by. Good, 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 good. Okay. So we're looking good here. All right. Now let's do this. And we'll do plunder. Plunder, plunder, plunder. Yes, we'll go with all that salvage. And same thing. We'll go with the Victor here, Highlander, Archer, and Medusa. That's kind of our A team since Decker fucking left us to go with, you know, Great Death Legion. Not that that's like a fucking awesome opportunity. <laughs> that still sucks that he left us. All right, so we had to capture a base. Let's do this, and we'll take our Highlander for a spin. In a perfect world, pretty soon we should get the Black Market invitation, and then we could really upgrade the Highlander the way we want. But maybe we'll get a, uh, another campaign mission before this whole thing runs out. It's actually kind of surprising how long Archer took us, although we also did it the really long way. Um, oh, I should probably read that, this little blurb here. We've been following this shipment of spaz that the local government authorities here on Kimi intercepted. You'd think that given all the things they say about spaz, they'd have torched the stuff already, but instead they've locked it up in a secure depot. I'm sure they won't mind if we take that stuff off their hands. We have much better uses for it than just blowing it all up. <laughs> spaz is a nasty, nasty, nasty drug commander, but not really recreational anyway. If some mech warrior wants to burn themselves out on this stuff, that's on them. <laughs> I love the pirate missions in this game. The facility where the drugs are being kept is just ahead, Commander. From here, we should be able to get eyes on the depot and look at its defenses. Clear out any defenders and let's secure the place and get paid. All right. This place isn't so bad, right? All right, so let's see. What's our approach going to look like? I guess we're going to kind of come through here means yeah all right let's just go up through here and we'll see what defenses are going to be around commander. moving out on the move what cat hello cat yeah i know cat i love you too cat okay kitty kitty yes i know kitty kitty okay you my cat's just. rubbing up against my leg looking for pets enemy detected what she does. Uh, yeah, let's jump over here. Lifting off. And same with you. Let's just move in advance. Roger. What do we got? No, oh, 40 ton mech. Yeah, that's no problem. Oh, and a 70 ton mech. That could be a Warhammer. That guy could be a problem. Fucking cicada. That's one of the worst mechs in the whole fucking game. Aye, aye. Just oh, just fucking fire at it. Uh alright, fine. Yeah. Fuck it. Engage if enough up. of these missiles hit, it'll lose all of its evasion. And that's worth it for me. Yeah, I was kind of hoping it would lose evasive. What kitty kitty? Do you do you need do you need food and a snack? I may have to go downstairs to feed the cat. Do you, do you require something, Cleo? Or are you just looking for a pet? Hello, my little co-pilot. I didn't introduce my co-pilot. <laughs> my co-host, uh, co rather. Cleopatra, the shithead. 
Hello, cat. She's adorable. She's my adorable 20 pound ball of murder. And I'm trying to figure out what she wants. Are you just looking to be distracting or do you actually want something? She wants food. Okay. Give me two seconds, gang. I shall be right back and then we'll go back to more Battletech fun here. I'll be back in like two minutes. Hello, cat. Okay. I know. I know. I don't. It took me. Gang, I have returned. Turns out Cat wanted to go on the patio to hunt things. I knew she wanted something. So another fun news, I did manage to get my emulator working. So it's any given point now I could start playing East, which is going to be awesome. Waiting for orders. Ah, uh, let's see. Yeah, let's shoot you with this. Got it. Well, let's also go over here so those other two things can't fire at it. Hmm. Yeah, we're not going to fire that many people. We'll just go with that. 
That's the only problem with the Marauder and the PPCs. It just generates so much heat fire in both of them. Wow. We're almost... <laughs> wow, that archer really fucked it up. Well, let's find out. Maybe we can kill this thing. Oof. Really fucked up thing. Well, okay, yep. We completely fucked up that uh, cicada. It's dead now. <laughs> yeah, what now? Well, they sensor locked her. Unfortunately, it means they can totally shoot her with shit. Let's see. Well, all right, so if I go here, I can shoot you with that. I don't know if I necessarily want to do. Or do I want to just go here? Start working on that stuff. Or do I want to jump over here? Hmm. Not really sure. But if they could target... If I can do that, that means they can target me. Let's, uh... Alright, let's just jump over here for right now. We'll make our advance. He was showing up. Oh, an archer. You know what? I could have probably fucking reserved. <clears throat> fucking archer. Well, we'll really fuck up them. Yeah, I should have reserved. That's my fuck up. Ready for orders. That is absolutely my fuck up. That's all right. We're going to correct that mistake. Right now. Targeting for an alpha strike. Take an AC-20, you little bastard. Warning. Enemy sensor lock detected. Yeah, that sucks. <sighs> Alright, that was not the greatest turn, even though we killed a, uh... What do you need? Even though we killed the archer. Or the cicada. Confirmed. We'll do better this time. Seraph had to get his head back in the game after getting a drink downstairs. Right. <laughs> ah, the Phoenix K. The Phoenix Hawk that doesn't have jump jets but has better uh, weaponry in general. It's the curator version. Ergo K. Uh, yeah, fuck it. This will be a virtual guaranteed kill. Let's just take it. Yep. Don't even want to fuck around. Let's just get the archer out of there. Enemy mech destroyed. That's the advantage of called shot mastery. Now I will virtually always hit what I'm aiming at location-wise. So let's advance and... Man. Really, uh, they're really fucking brutalizing the Marauder here. Let's make sure we hit. <laughs> let's make sure we at least hit with most of these things. Despite all that evasion, yeah, whatever. He must have an easier time now. Yes, do that. We can at least shoot the turret. I mean, she can't, but some other people can. Now your life is going to be miserable. On it. Blow off the arm. Nope, didn't blow off the arm. That would have been nice. Systems holding. And unfortunately, now they're all going to shoot the fucking Victor. Fuck. And despite the fact that it's an assault mech, it's not really as armored as most assault holding mechs firm. are. That's why a very viable alternative is to strip the jump jets off the Victor and add a lot of armor. That's a very common change, which I may end up doing to the Victor now, now that I've got the Highlander. So I don't need two mechs that can jump. Or 
We're not going to do that. Let's just advance. Received. Let's hurl more. Let's hurl more missiles at the Phoenix. <laughs> Take that. Target's taken a critical hit. Sixty tons. Ah, dragon. Well, at least Behemoth is in cover. That's helping things out. But still, it's taking a lot more hits than I would like. Waiting on you, Commander. Yeah, you know, let's advance Don't here and see twice. what the story is. Don't think I'm going to be able to... Yep, can't fire the PPC at all. That's fine. Just shoot you with these. Got it. Try and do a little bit more damage. Maybe we could blow off another location. Yep, got the torso. Yeah, critical hit. Ah, now you're unsteady. Of course, now you're going to regain some of that stability damage I just inflicted. That's fine. <laughs> Decided to back up. Smart decision. Let's see. That fucking turret has so much. <sighs> yeah, the only disadvantage of not having multi-shot with this particular configuration if i shot that turret with the gauze rifle twice it would destroy the turret no matter how much damage it actually had with armor because the gauze rifle does five damage internally so if i just shot it literally with two gauze rifles that would do 10 structural and completely destroy the turret regardless of its armor that's a usually a good strategy to use against turrets but in this particular case, I went with the Master Tactician and Bulwark. Can't always have it both ways. So I could just do that. Shoot the turret. But I think I'd rather try to finish off the... You know, you know what? Let's try... Let's try one-shotting the dragon. Let's see what that happens. Maybe we could one-shot the dragon here. Nah, nope. Too many things didn't hit the center tour, so fuck. That was stupid. Order. Stupid. Yeah, all right. Well, whatever. Copy Let's that. back up. We're not going to jump, obviously. We will not shoot with the medium laser. And let's see if we can at least kill the Engaging Phoenix Hawk. Target. Damn it. Bad location on that. But we still got it. <clears throat> target neutralized. Good. They've got a lock on me. Yeah, normally I like to try to deal with the turrets first. Obviously didn't happen this time. And they keep shooting the fucking Marauder. Is that it? Still only have this dragon to deal with. Yes, Commander. On my way. Need to create a mech wielding a katana. <laughs> Let me get close hit him with my sword. <laughs> Them yep. Really fuck up this dragon. You're clear to move on. Good to go. All right. Let's advance. Start dealing with turrets. Moving out. There's the facility. Looks like it's got a single lance defending it and confirmed turrets. We're seeing some additional units in the region, so watch for possible reinforcements, because of course there are reinforcements. Commander, a word of warning. We have reports that this may have gun emplacements for point defense. Really, Darius? No shit. We're not looking right at them. Given what they're keeping here, I can't say I'm surprised. No shit, Darius. I see them. Whatever. Uh huh. Captain Obvious. Let's see. Let's advance. But that's why the ER medium lasers are awesome, because as you could see, before we wouldn't be able to hit these 
with normal medium lasers, but the ERs hit just fine. So once we get this thing properly outfitted, uh, you know what? I think I'm going to keep the gauze rifle ammo. I have plenty of LRM ammo, but the medium lasers are going to pretty much take care of this. And then the LRMs will finish it off. Yeah, let's save the gauze ammo. I'd rather save the gauze ammo <clears throat> for reinforcements. Granted, they usually give enough ammo, but I obviously didn't need to use it. Good. Standing by. Wow, I really can't get any closer to that, huh? All right, fine. Jump. Copy that. And then we'll uh, we'll just brace. All right, I need to cool down anyway. Man, that Victor's way overheated. Yeah, that's surprise. Oh, come on. Damn it. Taking way too much damage. Jesus. And there's still one more turret to fire at it. Structural damage. Oh, no, there isn't. Good. Waiting for order. All right. Yeah, shoot the fucking sniper turret. Locked on target. We're going to do a lot of damage to that turret. <laughs> and I don't think we're going to kill it, but we're going to try. Waiting for orders. All right, so the land that left torso took a lot of damage. All right. So yes. Affirmative. You. Yeah, seriously? Fine. Yeah, save the AC. We'll just shoot the PPC at it. Oh, actually, now yeah, let's just shoot the AC 10 at it and lower our heat profile. Affirmative. Good. That's now they shouldn't kill. even be able to target glitch with any luck. Yeah, it's the only problem with the Highlander. It doesn't have the greatest movement, but it's fine. Can't get close enough, I don't think. Uh, nope. Well, maybe. Maybe. Maybe I can sensor lock that one turret. Oh, I can. Cool. Fucking LRM turret. And of course, the LRM turret is all the way over there. Because of course it would be. Um, now I'm... I think I'm good right here, actually. Let's just brace and cool off. Serve. Waiting for the shot. Sensor lock on target. Copy that. <laughs> ammo see how you like it LRM turret thought you were safe bastard Your glitch will probably finish it off commander PPC which is just fine yep it's fine that really don't need you taking damage to that torso really don't need that grief firing on target Hi. Target destroyed. Works for me. Yes, Commander. Yeah, we'll do that. Can't hit it anyway, but I can at least show my more armored side. I'm picking up a new sensor trace. Looks like enemy reinforcements. See, I don't mind when Darius does that, because I don't pick them up yet. That's him actually doing me a favor. Usually he says that after they start shooting at me. And it's like, yeah. really, bro? Really? <laughs> you don't say, Darius. You don't say. <laughs> well, yeah, let's try and take out this turret.
where these reinforcements are. Well, that's where the reinforcements are. Ah, there's the blip. Fine. Good to go. Yep, let's do that. You're the left. Yep. So we'll actually we'll do that. Got it. I don't need you showing my back. Although I've got more armor on the back at this point, but not through the older locations. I'll just show the right side. It's we'll continue to cool off a little bit. We'll fire one more PPC. Right, That'll be it for the turrets. Another one down. We still do need to destroy the reinforcements as we capture the base. I won't see where the other... Oh, they're coming in behind us. Interesting. Very interesting. All right. Little bastard. Engaging jump jets. Interesting. Fucking catapult, you little bastard. Oh, ho, ho. all right, fucker. Huh. You know, even with reduced damage. Let's do it. We got a one in five chance of just destroying this catapult outright. Let's go for it. I don't think it's gonna happen, but LRM's let me send hot metal your way from really far away. Yeah, yeah the long time is better. That's what uh, Ostergaard was using against us. But you know, artillery is artillery. So fun fact, Warhammer was running a game. I thought long toms were missiles, not artillery. That's fine. That was when we were just getting to learn this game. Let's try and kill this catapult. I don't think this is going to work, but I've got plenty of resolve. So I'm going to roll the dice and try to kill this catapult. Now, yeah, it was worth a try. Probably hit the head with one of the missiles. That's okay. I didn't think I could core it with that amount of damage, but we tried. We tried. All right, let's go here. We'll at least achieve this objective. Brace. Now all we need to do is deal with the enemy reinforcements. I think what we'll do... Ready for orders. They will do that. Fuck them. Let's do that. And we will shoot the catapult. Yeah, let's do it. Got it. We'll reduce its 20% damage reduction, but we're still doing a decent amount of damage to it. That is. It's an LRM-5, whatever it is. So at least the reinforcements don't have a shit ton of uh, extra bullshit like they usually do. Hmm. Go for the headshot again. Or do I just try to core this thing now? Yeah, let's core it. All weapons committed. Trying to actually destroy this fucking thing. Yep, there we go. Not fucking around. So as you can see, as our mech, as our pilots get better and our mechs get better, we definitely have uh, a better ability to kind of kill mechs. Receiving you. All right, so let's. Waiting for orders. Just do that. And I guess what we'll do is I'll just move into the right, woods Commander. and I'll brace as we move back over here. So we got a 50 ton mech. Commander. Okay. Just jump over here. And that's definitely our more armored area. Acknowledged. Let's just do that just for the shits and giggles of it. Yeah, the catapult was by far the more dangerous mech. So it's good we were able to take that out because that's what is devastating with reinforcements when you have something like that that just throw LRM after LRM after LRM at you all fucking day long. Ah, the grasshopper. That would explain the LRM-5. Yeah, the grasshopper is a, can be a nasty mech. Standing by. 
Oh yeah, we're gonna way overheat here. Definitely can't fire all of those. You know what? I might just shoot two medium lasers. Uh, you know, we're we're just gonna try and shoot one LRM twenty at it. Ugh. Firing. I'll be able to fire both of the LRMs next turn though. Good to go. That is the problem. Can't have that. Can't have that even be visible. Yeah, let's go for it. Fortunately, that grasshopper definitely has some good armor. Let's see. I think that's going to be my... I'm going to have to just jump over here. And, uh... Fight it from this direction. Engaging jump jets. Still, taking out the catapult was worth it. Battletech Advanced Rules did have rules for larger missiles, but AMS could eat those up and remember that in the setting, technically, it was not that kind of... Yeah. Yeah. A Anti-missile systems were, were pretty awful. Um, we pretty much, I think, agreed after a while it wasn't even worth the weight of putting them in there. Unfortunately, yeah, for as rare as the anti-missile system was, you'd think it'd be better than what it was. It was unfortunate. In MechWarrior 5, the anti-missile system doesn't seem like it's all that good either. But, you know, it I still kind of, I still do kind of like it. Just because it is still handy to, uh... Left, four, so. yep, left. In this case, yeah, the left is what I kind of want. Facing. Exact opposite of the Marauder. But especially in that game, there's even rarer cases of... Rock mechs that out. have it. So hard to find mechs that even have an anti-missile system slot, let alone the actual anti-missile systems good. themselves. So now we beat on the Gat Grasshopper a little bit. I should be able to get to go again before that Grasshopper goes. Maybe? Ooh, good. It missed with the, uh, with the AC, that AC-20. Jesus. Oh no, that's an Enforcer. That's an AC-10. Yep. You, ah, uh, yeah, we're shooting the grasshopper for sure. Nope, can't get away with that. <laughs> More LRMs, center torso. Let's try and core this fucker. There we go. We got it. Gotcha. It's a beautiful thing. Okay, commander. We, we're getting these reinforcements here. Yeah, we can't fire both. That's unfortunate. That's okay. Here we go. Actually, I could put a double heat sink in the uh, Marauder. That would help with those PPC bolts. But I don't know if I like the idea of putting the um, double heat sinks in that Marauder. Yeah, I can't get over there fast enough, really. Let's keep trying. Shit. It moved at the last second, did it? Okay, good. Yeah, fire. Little down its evasion, do some damage. You know, I didn't actually check to see if it was a good LRM-20 in there. Good to go. Yep, nope, we're fine here. Decision's right. Fuck it. Firing. Ho, ho, ho! <laughs> Boom! Headshot! <laughs> oh, that was a beautiful thing. Nice shot, Behemoth. Yeah, pilot, lethal damage. Yeah, an AC-20 to the face. Fuck you. <laughs> oh, that was awesome. Yes, double heat sinks, double the love. Because I did buy a double heat sink once I got here. So we got some good shit here from that. Uh, everybody got good kills. Marauder got a little damaged, but that's not the end of the world. That was a good match. Let's see. So we picked up an entire enforcer by taking out the head. LRM 50. Okay. That is one option. So I'll, I'll show you. Uh, you know what? That might be what we do with this. We. Oh, that's awesome. That's a really good one. Uh, oh, that's also really good. Fuck. Okay. Well, let's see. 
let's see no good at our... okay fine yeah wait we are oh you always got to go with lost tech if you can get it um yeah i think i'll just go with the 70 ton archer salvage but if we had chosen we could have just taken the three enforcer salvage and sold it but in this case we're at, money is not really the issue we need the salvage and this is beautiful so we might be able to make that work might be able to make that work that is good that is good now we could do some better um better configuration so one of the options you have with the highlander 33 3732b is you could take out the lrm 20 and put in an lrm 15 that does the extra plus two damage it ends up being the same damage output but way less weight which is fucking amazing so we're gonna repair you because that marauder is fucking awesome uh yeah well, that might that might be the trick because the lrm 20 it does an extra two stability damage which is nice but if we substitute that lrm 20 for an lrm 15 all of a sudden we've got a lot of more weight to play with and unfortunately we don't have the good gauze rifle minus two tons to to get that with at the moment so i'm thinking we will do that unless there are any really good contracts we want to do which there there might be uh stole oh right we could do this am ambush convoy but that's against the capellans i don't know if i necessarily want to do that wow this one's a tough one holy shit very ambitious target but local government logistical base thousands of tons of armor ammunition mech parts and personnel pass through this uh facility every day strike was seriously hindered the local government forces do, 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 do. Well, and, and as soon as the assault begins, the enemy will scramble reinforcements. I guess the question is, do we want to do that? Or are we good with money? Or are we good with money and we can handle this? Uh, yeah, you know what? Let's, let's do this one. Let's do this one. Let's build up our supplies here. Let's get the Roarder. Job is done, Commander. Oh, okay. Hell of a deal. While planet side on Kimi, Hacker slinks over to you and Sumiri. Good news, Commander. I know a guy who can get us an Alcaxis Tiger Falcon, but it ain't cheap. This is exotic, an exotic, highly sought after animal. I'm going to need a million sea bills. So one question, Sumiri arches a brow. Why do we need a bird that eats people? Hacker grins. We need it only temporarily. It's for a local collector. He's got his own personal zoo and also happens to have a cache of vintage mech parts. I can get you those parts. All I need are some extra hands. Glitch will do, and the funds to buy the bird. Then I could trade it to this eccentric billionaire. You'll be getting a hell of a deal on those pristine parts. This is a bad idea. Even by our standards, Samiri <laughs> narrows her eyes. You're not taking this scheme seriously, are you, Commander? Oh, this sounds this sounds like such such a bad idea. We need the one-shot rockets 40. <laughs> yeah, you know what? Let's grant him the funds to carry out his scheme. I think this is going to be a bad idea, but let's see what this all gets us. You shrug. This has got to be the most convoluted plan I've ever heard, but if anyone can make it work, it's you, hacker. You get the funds for this operation, but make sure you come back in one piece. Aye, aye, Commander. This ain't my first illicit animal deal. Samiri rolls her eyes as hacker departs with the wake. Oh my god, this is fucking amazing. Hours later, as you're inspecting the Leopard, a cargo ship approaches the landing pad. Sumeri patches in the ship's hail. Special delivery, Commander. Hacker's voice crackles over the comms. We've got free shipping included. That Tiger Falcon was worth more than I thought. Made some new friends, too, Glitch says. Say the word and I'll acquire whatever you need. Why don't you tell me about your new friends once you land, you signal to Sumeri, and she opens the Leopard's bay doors. The cargo ship lands nearby, and the mech warriors jump out, proudly revealing the gleaming mech parts inside. All right, well, Glatcher Hacker gained high spirits, which might be valuable. Let's see what else we got. You really? What else did we get? F fucking seriously? It was a hundred thousand. Oh, okay. And now let's see what we got. Come on, come on. Oh, ho, 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 ho. we got a re we got an extra three seven thirty two B mech salvage. Holy shit, isn't it? That is awesome i mean that's the mech we literally just got but now we're on our way to getting two of them that was well worth the million sea bills holy shit that was awesome that was awesome uh all right so yeah let's let's do this mission 
we'll get some money so that we can uh, not lose a crap ton of money for, um, and we'll keep that. We'll keep that salvage. Because at this point, as you guys can see, salvage is good. This is a good lineup. Do we bring in Hacker and build up his... Do we build up his... Yeah, you know what? Not with that difficulty. Assuming that difficulty is accurate, let's let's go in with the A-team here. Let's not fuck around. This idea is so bad, it's brilliant, right? That's like something that we would have come up with in our in our RPG playing days. But boy, that might be the best reward I've ever gotten out of one of those. Usually you do that and you get like a medium laser plus, like one plus or something. And it's like, really? I just spend a million C bills on that shit? Command interface. I forgot how funny the dialogue with it was though. <laughs> To interrupt the supply chain, we'll need to take out several key structures. Move up to engage the target buildings. Look like the base has its own defenses. Once you've engaged, expect enemy reinforcements. Oliveira out. Here we go. We do have to just oh, we get a bonus for destroying the local base garrison, but uh, the only thing that's required is to destroy the base. But usually, it's a better option to um, to just destroy the local base garrison because otherwise, they're just shooting at you the whole time. Well, that didn't take long. Walk. All right, so we got mech up there. Yeah, let's just go up here. Embrace. See what the fuck the story is up here. Yeah, we may as well fight the garrison up here. Yep, do that. Up high. That's really why I like to keep jump uh, jump jets, because you end up getting a little further and you can get to the cover that I kind of want to be in. Uh, yeah, we'll just move here. That's fine. We'll keep you at long distance. That's what the missile boat is for. Let's let this mech go. Reserve again. And essentially uh -huh. just reserving again pushes you down in the initiative order. We're letting them go first. All right, well, we could at least go up here and shoot that, whatever it is. What's up, boss? Well, if I go over here, I could probably shoot whatever that is. Maybe that's what I should do. Hmm. Though I don't like leaving cover. They're not in cover either. I could just wait for them. You know what? Let's just brace. Let them come to us. We'll let them get the first shot. I know it's not usually the best idea, but... Maybe we can catch them while they're out in the open. They'll take more damage, obviously. Well, waiting for orders. Hmm. We could just do the same thing. We could just wait for them. Yeah, let's do it. Hunkering We're down. well braced. We're going to take next and no damage when these guys do show up. Just let them keep coming to us. Plus, if the base has turrets or anything, hopefully we're out of range of the turrets. I'd rather be fighting over here in an area that we've kind of fortified. There we go. Yep, that's what I wanted. 60% damage reduction, and now we're going to do full damage on the Wolverine. Waiting for orders. Now, now this Wolverine's going to... Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. We're... That's enough evasion. You may have a decent evasion, but fuck it. You're going to absorb a lot of damage. Hoping that, yeah. We were positioned. For you? I believe cover in order to shoot at you, but I don't think you can hit me from there anyway. So that works 
for me. Let's just Commander. back up Moving and we'll fire at you from there. That works for me. Uh, actually, fuck it. We've got enough resolve. Yeah. Maybe we'll, just, maybe we'll just destroy this guy outright. That would be nice, wouldn't it? Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, well that works. Huh! Ah, and a new one has <laughs> stepped up to get murdered. <laughs> oh man. So let's uh Yeah, unfortunately it's facing that way, so probably can't Yeah, and I can't get behind it from here either. Hmm. And it's gonna from where it's at, it's definitely going to be Yeah, I'll just move and shoot it then. Fuck it. Yeah, we'll do that. Oh, why not? I like hitting more. In this case, it's not about... Um, it's not about the location. It's just... Yeah, next customer. <laughs> Yeah, uh, all that travel time. Yeah, right. Oh my God, it would you know it would take years to do uh, years to do this shit. Yes, <laughs> literal fucking years. Firing a full. Oh, you missed with the AC twenty behemoth. Suck. Sorry, she can move now over there. Move order received. That's always devastating when you miss with the AC-20, and that's a plus hit AC-22. Like, how, how did you miss with all that? <laughs> Seriously, how did she miss all those? This is probably going to kill the quick draw. Wow, I didn't kill the quick draw with that. How close was I? This ought to be interesting. Hey, seriously, how close did I get to killing the quick draw? 18, wow. Fucker. Yeah, I'll keep the gauze rifle ammo. That's fine. Uh, but the rest of you could fire. Let's just, just yeah, that's not going to last long. <laughs> Enemy mech destroyed. Now what? You guys have to come out of cover. Yep, Warhammer. Ah, but it's now really, really well defended. Waiting for orders. Mm. Let's see. Although I could just shoot it with PP with a PPC shot. Yeah, that's uh -huh. what I'll do. I'll shoot it with a PPC shot because Glitch has breaching shot. It thinks it's going to do all that, but nope. Toggle, 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 and look at that. And now we do full damage with this bad boy. Boom. <laughs> Thought you were safe over there? You were wrong. Good to go. I think what I'll do is I'll just brace. We've got high ground. Uh, yeah, we'll reserve. Let's let the Warhammer go here. Oh, yes, my favorite thing, Thunderbolts. I can precise shot, hit its center torso with the gauze rifle, and even if I do no other damage, it's gonna blow up. Light damage. Like the Hold 4th of front. July. My favorite thing. Uh, that is the center torso, right? Yep, perfect. Yep, yep. Time to blow up a thunderbolt. Even if I don't tear through all the armor. All oh, I hit the leg. All the center, all the gauze rifle had to do was hit its center torso and that mech probably just explodes. Oh, well. It was the right call. It just didn't work out in my favor. Yeah, that sucked to take all that damage at point blank range. 
But now the Warhammer's life sucks. Despite how awesome a Warhammer is, they uh, they tend to be glass cannons. Good to go. Coordinates received. They're just they're just not well armored enough for the amount of damage they output. Uh, no, I don't need to fire that PPC. Yeah, we'll just sustain fire here. Yes, Warhammer is really gonna get its ass kicked. Ready for orders. Fire! Firing all weapons. And knockdown. Inflicted some heavy damage. Good night. And we can even move Roger. back. Yay, Ice Pilot! <laughs> And because we do like to kick things when they're down, core the, just core the Warhammer, be done with it. I mean, I could play games with it, but why? <laughs> Badass. Sucks that all that hit the right arm, but whatever. Smart. Oh, come on. I'm bleeding, Commander. How many head hits are you going to take, Glitch? Seriously. Waiting for orders. Right, Commander. Go. Enough out of you. That's a kill. And let's try this again. Let's try and light this guy up. Ammo explosion, there it is. Enemy mech destroyed. Man, I love encountering thunderbolts. They're so easy to destroy. Uh, I do like the idea of going across this way. I'm gonna go across that way. Right, Commander. I copy. Just in case there are turrets, we should at least have this terrain in our way. Coordinates received. This way. Position confirmed. Wow. You can really move in this thing. Uh, no. Let's keep the missile boat behind everybody. <laughs> Yahoo. Okay. At this point, the rest of this should just be a milk run. Engaging jump jets. Yep. Turret. Just what I thought. Just in case reinforcements show up, we'll be in position for them. Hold it. You go first. Let's destroy that turret. And then we can do some demolition on this base. So a really neat... Okay, so one of the mechs in this game, one of the iconic mechs... Oh, we exited combat. We're going to go back into it in a second. Um, <laughs> Engaging jump jets. Well, yep, there are, there are the rest of the turrets. Enemy reinforcements detected. Reinforcements? Is it detecting the turrets, or are there actual way. reinforcements coming? That would suck if there are actual reinforcements showing up somewhere. Really don't want to be dealing with reinforcements, right? Here we go. Got enough to deal with with these turrets. I don't see the reinforcements. I think it's just talking about the turrets being the reinforcements. I think. We're about to find out.
All right. What are we doing? Serve. Now let's deal with the turrets. Just in case there are. Yep. Incoming reinforcements, Commander. Looks like they're sending in the big guns. Well, I guess we'll see what the big guns mean in a second. All right. Uh, yeah, that AC-20 is definitely... Uh, yeah, let's take out the AC-20 first. For sure. And then I'll deal with the LRM. Let's see, can I destroy this turret? Ah, shit. All right. But I could have Glitch shoot it with the AC-5 and Glitch shoot that with everything else. Nail fuck. We need to take care of these turrets as soon as possible. Commander? Uh, damn it. Can't shoot the other turret. Fuck. All right, fine. Guess we'll do this. Affirmative. And I'll just shoot you with the PPC. That'll be fine. PPC kills the turret. I really don't want to get hit with an AC-20. Ever. That's a kill. Medusa could take out that turret. Aye, aye. So, uh, you know what? Yeah, that's fine. Let's just shoot. I'll just keep you right there. Deal with that LRM turret. Engage target. We're not going to destroy the turret, but we can at least really hurt it. Commander. I can see it, but I can't actually shoot the turret. So that part sucks. Well, I could at least do damage to one of the buildings. Engaging jump jet. Yeah, we'll do damage to the medium reinforced. Eh, I've got more than enough shots. Fuck it. Structure down. It's history. We won't conserve ammo here. Let's just do some One demolition. Yes, Commander. Deal with the rest of that. Yeah, don't fuck around. I'm just destroy the turret. <laughs> I don't want to even be shot at with it. I want that turret gone. Now, I don't that think the buildings can spot for the mechs. I think only the turrets can do that. That's good. Let's reserve and see what these assholes do. Yeah, that's that's true. Good. So otherwise, they absolutely would have there. Yeah, let's probably do that and deal with the rest of this last turret. Engaging jump jets. Let's deal with that turret. All weapons committed. Good. Perfect. Target destroyed. I didn't even want to have to mess around with that. Good to go. Just go up here, Moving we'll destroy position. the base, and then we could deal with these reinforcements in a second. Yeah, why not? Let's do here some damage go. to this building. We won't destroy the building, but we laser it. We can serve ammo. Receiving you. Uh, actually, we'll do... We'll do that. Acknowledged. Because these reinforcements are going to come up this road, presumably. We'll be in good position for it. Don't worry about that. Let's just conserve ammo. Firing. I'm more concerned about using the AC-20 ammo and the mechs that are about to show up over here. 75 ton. That's either a Marauder or an Orion. Commander. Good. Copy that. Destroy the last bit of this. Yep, 
Perfect. Just taking the shot. Oh, Medusa. You missed with the f you missed a fucking building, dude. <laughs> How'd you miss a building, bro? <laughs> oh, Commander? man, that's funny. Uh, multi target. Uh, yeah, medium laser and then. Let's see. Building. Let's try that. Firing on target. Good. Get your lance to the LZ commander. I'm coming in hot. Okay. So now we have a choice. We could either just target retreat to the LZ, depending on where it is. Oh, of course. So that's one of my problems with this. Every time they ever put the evac zone, you have to fight through the reinforcements to get to it anyway. Like, what's the point? Yeah, let's reserve. Maybe we can get them to come a little closer. But at this point, we may as well just fight them. Standing by. Right, well, I'll jump. Ooh, yeah. Let's go for max evasion here. I copy. And she can spot for the rest of the lance. Yep, yeah, on Orion. Jager mech. Wow. Two Jager mechs. Jesus. All right. Well, I guess we'll go with... I guess we'll go after the Orion. Even doing half damage to it, well, it's better than only doing 40% damage to these. Yeah, we'll... Have to it. It's fine. It's still damage. Shoot the Orion. Yeah, we'll see. The nice part about the gauze rifle also, no recoil penalty. You could just shoot it over and over and over again. Unlike the auto cannons, where you get that mad recoil penalty. Oh, a fucking Marauder. Yeah, that Marauder is a problem. We have to definitely destroy that fucker. That Marauder is making their entire lance more hardy. Unless we just decide to bum rush past them and say, fuck it. Standing by. Yeah, we could try that, I suppose. I mean, we could. We could. I think I'd rather just fucking Moving fight out. them. Yep. Fuck up this Marauder. We already got an armor blow through, despite the fact that it's, you know, better protected. So far, this strategy seems to be working. Let them shoot. It. Let them waste all their shots at the victor. Good to go. Yeah, fortunately, that's not great. Let's, uh... Right, commander. Probably, I'm only shooting one PPC. Oh, actually, we could shoot two PPCs and an AC-5. You know what? Fuck it. Fine. Firing on target. Pick on that Marauder. Yeah, that hit. That hit pretty hard. Wow, it left cover. Interesting. Let's, I think we're just going to advance and let's pick on that Marauder a little bit more. Done. And fire. Ah, I missed with the gauze rifle, but I should still knock it down. Good. Now we could really pound on it and it takes less damage while it's knocked down too. Hopefully, Medusa can go first and really put some punishment on it. Actually, Behemoth should be going in a second. I'm taking heavy hits, Commander. Now you get to go. Receiving you. Jump. Let's go over here. Yep. We'll regain a lot of your evasive. Acknowledged. 
go. Yep. I think we will just go for that center torso. I mean, I could go for the headshot. 4% headshot. I don't like those odds, though. Let's just... Firing let's go to core the fucker. Orders. Fire. Locked on. Let's see. Come on. Big money, big money, big money. Heard it really bad. <laughs> of course it stands up. God damn it. Feels like whenever I get knocked down, they get a lot more than just two free shots on me. Wow, and you managed to hit with that shot. Light damage, Commander. What a lucky shot. Waiting for orders. Got it. Advance a little bit. Yeah. Ooh, we could shoot the PPC and the AC5 though. Let's go for it. Got it. Ooh -hoo. You dead. Mech destroyed. Fuck yeah. Nice shot, glitch. Right. Now they lost their armor buff. Shit. Damn. That shot got past. Damn my armor. it. I feel like you shouldn't have been able to knock hit with that much. I had a lot of evasion for that that whole thing. Engaging jump jets. But oh well. What can I say? They made the, the they got their shots in. What can you do? <sighs> All right, let's let's go for big money here. All weapons. Now, yeah. all right. I had a 5% chance at that, or a 1 out of 5 shot at that. Enemy mech. Critical damage detected. Yeah, headshots usually don't pay off, but if you do them enough, you will get, you'll get some wins. Don't really fuck up that, that victor, please. Come on. They've blown past my armor. Yeah, I know. Stand up. Jesus. You need to get the fuck out of there. Man, you are really Ready fucked up. Action. All right, right torso is what's. So I need you to be over here. Let's just get you out of the up action high. for a minute. <laughs> Let's just get you out of there for a minute. That was actually, it actually almost cemented that we're gonna have this fight. It's basically back to three on three. But I'm not losing the victor and I'm not letting Behemoth get hurt more than that. Ooh, and all right, now you guys are in deep shit. You went out into the fucking water? Yep. Stupid decision there. Light up the Orion here. All weapons with fire. Ooh, alpha strike on the Orion. That was a bad decision. <laughs> You guys were doing good when you were maneuvering intelligently out in the woods. We were having like a skirmish. They got impatient. Went into open ground. Commander? Dumb. Very dumb. No. You're, you're way too over here. Uh, we can hit you with all that though, so let's do it. Let's just here fire. We go. We'll just do the damage. Fine. It's fine. Damage minimal. Now, you're, since you guys are doing this kind of shit. Uh, yes, I think so. Unless I want to. Yeah, let's do that. Do that. Since you're shooting at me, we'll add some evasion. Pop over here. And this should be over. All I only have two more shots with the, my LRMs, but I think this will be plenty. Yep. One more Jaeger mech down. Enemy mech destroyed. Yes, 
Commander. Really can't shoot you with a whole lot. I think I'm just gonna stay over there for a minute. I'm just gonna brace. <laughs> I'm just gonna brace. Ooh, I can do a lot of damage to you too. Fuck it. Yeah, let's do it. Copy that. Alpha strike time. Connection on that one. Let's jump over here. One more shot. Do it. I'm not playing too many games here. Let's just try to core him. Mission accomplished. Managed to get out of that without taking too many too many uh too many expensive repair bills. Yep. Mission successful. Yeah, if the EVAC zone had been in a different spot, I would have thought about doing a pitched battle to get to it. But since you had to fight through them anyway, it's like, well, I guess we're fighting them. I really wish the EVAC zones were in better locations. Like, I understand the EVAC zones not being behind you, so you can just sprint away. But if even if they were just sideways, so that, you know, it made a little more sense to fight to it, it would make a little more sense, but it's not like we were going to fight through them. That was, that just wasn't going to happen. All right. So let's see. What do we got here? Uh, I think I like the idea of getting a Warhammer salvage. It's not going to give me any lost tech, is it? Ugh. All right. SRM4. Take that. Any good equipment? No, no, no good equipment. All right, fine. I guess we'll take the Marauder Salvage, too. We'll go with that. That's fine. Perfect. Oh, and it gave me the Orion Salvage. That was nice of it. Perfect. Okay. So now, since we have Mech Warriors... I mean, granted, we could... I mean, we've got spare Mech Warriors, but we also incurred some repair bills. So we're not going to mess around with that. Let's just go to Herodotus. And in the meantime, we're going to tweak this Highlander a little bit more. And... By then, they should prompt us with the with the next camp. Ah, there it is. That's actually what I was looking to do. I was looking to prompt us. So Lady Centrella is ready to meet us on Weldry, Commander. I have filed a contract in the command center. Perfect. Up, oh, and we've got experience, so we should spend it. Perfect. So let's do that first. Order. Behemoth. Behemoth got a little fucked up. It happens. Let's raise her piloting score. Probably me. Yep. Uh, we'll do overheat threshold. Training that works for me. Orders. Medusa. Probably Medusa. Yep. Let's Mech warrior let's try and hit a little bit more. Standing by. Not you. Nope. You Waiting don't have anything for else. Waiting for orders. Yep. Let's go with better base Training hit. What's Hemoth, up, you're still good. Okay. Mech base. Actually, let's go to the store. See if there's anything that I may have missed. I don't think so. <sighs> yeah, I think it's silly to spend the better half a million C bills on an ER large laser. Especially since it's not even that really a great one. I think we're we're okay with that. Alright, let's go to the mech bay. And let's tweak this Highlander a little bit. Well actually let's repair you. Wow, you're gonna take forty thousand C bills? Damn, that's expensive. Whatever. Okay. So let's reset let's refit you. Let's have some fun here. Okay, we're going to take out the LRM-20, and we're going to put in this good LRM-15 plus 2 damage. We're still going to do the same amount of damage, but now we have 3 extra tons to play with. 3 tons that we absolutely fucking need. So let's do that. Uh, actually, we could put... Could put gauze ammo. I could put all the gauze ammo over here and put a double heat sink over in the right arm, but I'm not inclined to do that. Anyway, let's take a look here. Okay. Small pulse laser. Pulse lasers are nice, but they also weigh a lot more. So they weigh a ton, whereas small lasers weigh half a ton, and your ER small lasers way half ton. So we're going to go with ER small laser, ER small laser. And unfortunately, I wish I could go with another ER small laser, but it's not how this kind of went. 
And unfortunately, so there's some machine guns where they weigh minus half a ton, which means the machine guns have free weight, but they take ammo, which kind of tends to explode. And well, we didn't, didn't find that piece of equipment. So that makes for a very nice Highlander upgrade. Also, when we could put in mach three machine guns that don't weigh anything and it's just free. It is what it is. So that's okay. But we'll put in a small laser in here and we still have a little bit extra to play with. So let's see what else we could do with this. Put that over here. Uh, just for a little bit of Seraph's OCD. I don't see anything else we could really do. That's a great SRM-6 that we want because it does the plus four damage SRM-6. Okay, I think at this point, damn, you know, if we had an exchanger, that would be the perfect time to put in an exchanger because we could put in an exchanger here but we haven't found an exchanger but you know what we could put a heat sink in here and that'll be a good placeholder for the exchanger later eventually eventually it's fine okay so let's pack on a little extra armor here and actually you know what I could put two heat sinks on here oh nope I can't I only have half a ton of weapon. Okay, so let's pack on a little extra tonnage. All right, well, a little extra armor is better and it heats, it sinks a little bit extra heat. It still does the same amount of damage. It did 427 damage before, still does that. And we're in good shape here. Actually, do I have a better medium laser? You know what, let's at least swap out the medium laser. At least put in a plus three medium laser at least do that okay that's at least better at least we may as well hit better with the medium laser and have a better crit chance with it but at some point we'll find better er medium lasers and we're going to be in much better shape so that'll well, it's only going to take five days huh well we'll take it for now this is this is going to be good so i guess the question is do i do the campaign thing or do we go to herodotus and try to make a little extra money because we could go to Herodotus. That ends up being pretty good. It'll only take, well, it'll take us two weeks and we could build up a little extra money. I think, let's see, let's see. I think that's actually worth our time to check out because it would be nice to do a couple of other pirate missions and it would really be nice to trigger the fucking would really be nice to trigger that. But you know what? Let's save. Let's at least save it. Save the game. Yep. Save it, Kimi. Because so far, this has gone really well. We'll go into the star map. Let's go to Herodotus really quick. Just now, to Commander. see what missions might be there. Or what equipment might be there. Plus, we need to wait. We need our mech warriors got the financial to heal anyway. Well, now we're down to 3 million sea bills. We're back down to, to that. <laughs> but we're still doing pretty well. We got to get some of our A-team mech warriors back up to speed. We got a little bit of a of a wait while we do that. Water here. Come on, black market. Black market's killing me here. The black market in this game is fucking amazing. <laughs> So Herodotus in the periphery is kind of like this tourist world. It's actually pretty well renowned. I wrapped up that job you asked for, Commander. Perfect. We got everything. Only got six days to go. Good as new. Glitch hops off her bed as you enter the med bay. Commander, it's a miracle. I'm good as new. Yeah, this one always sucks. Got it for a steal on shore leave, this natural remedy of hers. A med tech pulls up an X-ray and a view screen. I hate to admit this, but somehow Glitch's hairline fracture is regenerated in record time. It's perplexing. I think you mean amazing. Don't worry, Commander, it's a completely natural supplement. The restorative power is derived from the horn of a Stratford narwhal and refined into a powder. It's pretty tasty in coffee. The medtech's eyes widen with alarm. It would be best if we continued to monitor Glitch. Even though her fracture is healed, there's no telling what sort of unexpected side effects might be caused by this unapproved treatment. Oh, come on, Glitch grumbles. It's my week to lead the daily exercises. I don't want to miss that. I've got a killer routine plan. What if the medtechs analyze the supplement and prove it safe, Commander? Uh, let's see. 
Um, let's order the med text to analyze this glitch natural med remedy. Uh, all right, so your results are promising. Who knows, glitch? Maybe we need to stock the med bay with this narwhal dust. You shrug, turning into turning to the med tech. Analyze this powder and report back. Hour later, you receive an illuminating report from the med tech. You summarize for glitch. Let's start with the bad news. Your natural memory is a mix of baking soda and granulated sugar. Any supposed benefit is purely a placebo effect. Baking soda? Her face squeezes into a grimace. You nod, continuing. The good news is that you're being discharged. Apparently, the hairline fracture is fairly minor. You lower the report. How much did you pay for this junk anyway? She groans. Too much. I didn't know if I'd ever find this stuff again. I bought 15 cases. Oh my god. <laughs> Look at the right side, mech warrior. The kitchen crew could bake a few hundred cakes with your confectionery supplies. You grin, but Glitch sinks deeper into her bed. Ah, uh, and she's so she's recovered from the injury, but she's gained low spirits for 14 days. Eh, it's fine. We'll live with it. So we get to so everybody's out of the med bay. And let's see. Let's see what's going on. Oh, we got a little bit of an artifact like there. Arrived, <laughs> yeah, let's visit the store. Let's see what's here. Maybe there's gonna be some well Yeah, no, that's a shitty one. Man, they're really fucking us on the equipment on this whole on this run. <sighs> Any good contracts? Let's see. Are they gonna fuck us on this too? Probably. Day. All right. Ooh, Clash of Titans. This is a good one. We've got an interesting opportunity for you, Commander. We've recently detected a major engine signature on the planet, probably an assault class mech. We can't have an assault class Capellan mech that big wandering around loose, and we'd like you to handle it. The interesting part is that we've also detected another assault power up, and it's a different mech entirely, and it's closing with the target. It's possible you could just swoop in and pick up the pieces. We're prepared to offer generous salvage terms. <gasps> yes, I think we we're going to do this. That's going to be really expensive. Holy fuck. So, uh, yeah, we could do this. Uh, steal the prototype. That's a catcher base. That's just a battle. No, we're not going to do... We're not going to fight that. So attack and defense can be very, very fun. But they're also pretty gnarly. I think we're... Well, let's just do this one, and then we'll do the... Um, we'll do the Weldry deal. So I do like these Clash of Titans. And we can get some Assault Class... Salvage. Maybe there's another Atlas we can get and we can actually complete an Atlas. And that would replace our Victor in a very, very nice big upgrade way. Uh, yes, we're going to go with that Salvage in case we get a brand new Assault. Uh, we're not going to worry about glitches, low spirits. Fuck that. It's fine. Okay, let's... Let's deploy. <laughs> oh, I love Titan Attacks. This is going to definitely keep us on our toes. Besides, we just dealt with three assault mechs on our true. But taking down assault mechs isn't going to be easy, Commander. But if we can play them off against each other, we might make out quite well on this one. So sometimes, depending on the op four, they will actually shoot at each other. In my experience, they usually just kind of coordinate against you, but... I have had um, I have had missions and scenarios where you can kind of just get them kind of close to each other, back off, and they'll just fight each other. And it's nice. We're near where the engine signature was detected, Commander. The enemy unit should be in this area. What is that? Uh, I can't tell. That looks like that looks like an assassin, not a assault mech, but whatever. The enemy unit should be in this area. Remember that this is a big mech with tangling here, so be careful. You know what it could be? It could be a Cyclops. That could be a Cyclops. Like Cyclops could be a Cyclops could be awesome too. Lush. Pardon the pun. <laughs> yeah, let's do it. Let's advance. We'll just be really, really careful. You know, this would be good if we could stay up in here. This is not a great map to be fighting assaults, actually, unfortunately. But oh well, what can you do? Uh It's unfortunate that we haven't found exchangers yet we're really uh the markets are really kind of hosing us on um available mech parts affirmative I'd rather the victor not be out in front it's just again it's an assault mech but it's not not really an assault mech Moving it's really in a it's really a heavy mech that just goes in the assault phase <laughs> but it's okay we were able to it's better than a medium mech that we would have had before definitely was worth getting 
just, you know. Engaging jump jets. Reasonable expectations. There we are. All right, what do we got? 85, that is an assault mech. Holy shit, okay. Well, let's advance and let's see what we've got. We're already pretty good with Capellans, so we don't, I'm not too worried about this. We'll, we'll jump here. Actually, no, we'll jump. No, yeah, we'll jump here for now. So I can always jump a little bit more and get some evasion once whatever that is comes more into view. You stay right there. There's a dropship coming in fast and low, Commander. I'm seeing pirate markings. Oh, fuck, and they're coming in here? Shit. The other assault mech joining the party, I'm guessing. It's about to get hot down here. All right. So that part sucks. Yep, we're right in between both of them. That, that stinks. Okay, so that's going to happen next turn. So I guess what we'll try to do... All right, I guess what we'll try to do is we'll try to get as far right as possible and maybe this pirate lance when it drops here, we'll fight that one. Maybe, yeah. I can hope, fuck. <laughs> uh, let's just reserve. Let them go first. You know, I wonder if this was our first foray into the Titan attacks. Yep, all right. Well, this is fine. Uh, I think I'd rather sh have my options of what to shoot at here. Yeah, let's do it. Granted, not going to be great at all, but whatever. Uh, you know what? Or I could just go up here. Yeah, let's go over as far as possible. Rather than exposing myself. Let's go up here first to try and get as far right and we'll just brace. What can I do for you? Yeah, sprint. Get the hell over here. If you can make it. Uh, yeah, alright. Let's sprint over here. Affirmative. Let's get away from that pirate lance incoming. Yep. Yes, we'll have you sprint this way. Roger. That'll be fine. Let's just get everybody over there that we can. Our assault is going. <laughs> Waiting for orders. Yep, we'll just head over here. Uh, no. Let's go over here. Yep. Let's see. Yep, our cat's paw is on the field, Commander. Let them take the brunt of the fire, and we should be able to clean up whoever's left alive. Oh, it's a victor. So there's their assault. That would be nice if they just started fighting each other. It has been known to happen. Ooh, there we go. And they are. Sweet. Man, I love it when that actually happens. That usually does not happen. <laughs> Usually the computer fucks me over as much as it possibly can. Fucking trebuchet. Well, it's doing negligible damage to my Highlander. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, that trebuchet fucked up. But the pirate lance, hopefully, will get kited by this. Yeah, it wasn't a, that was an assassin I saw. I was right. Now we're going to have a lot of these things going here. Okay, so. Good to go. You. I'm going to go over here. Yeah, the trebuchet is the more damn it is the more dangerous mech than the assassin. So we're gonna go after that trebuchet first. Although the assassin is just exposed in the open field, rather than this having cover. Hmm. Let's go after the go after the cover. Work our way from their open flank. Oh, 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 nice. Excellent. Nice. Got past his armor. 
Good to go. All right, so we go over here and rather rather not do that. Yeah, let's do that. That's better. Don't need to tell me twice. At some point, I am gonna have to do something about all these. We're not we're not doing. That. But you can fire on that. You. Oh, I picked up uh, better PPCs. I forgot to uh, move it over. Oh, well. Well, I guess we're going to find out what's over there, aren't we? Let's find it. Jump to at least get some evasion. So if it does shoot at me, it's harder to hit me. Oh, ho, 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 fuck. Yeah, that's an assault mech, all right. God damn, that thing is, uh, that thing is dangerous as shit. Carries 75% of its normal armor. Thank God. Oh my God, that stalker is fucking terrifying. Yeah, we're gonna need to take care of that stalker as soon as possible. Yeah, that stalker, holy shit. Of course they fucking sent a stalker after us. Yeah, that's a good assault mech. It's slow as fuck, but... Oh, good. Yeah. Yeah, shoot the pirate lance. Absolutely. <laughs> yep. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Good. So if we don't even shoot at the stalker, it may by. leave us alone. So we're going to do that. We're just going to hang out over here. Jumping. We're going to hang out over here and let them just shoot at each other. That's my plan. It's not often we actually are successful enough to get them to do this. So we're enjoying it. Okay, let's reserve. See if anybody shoots at us. For now, we're just going to kind of stay fortified up here. All right. Well, the assassin looks like looks like we're going to have to deal with this assassin. But that's fine. We'll deal with the assassin. <laughs> of course, we have no idea how much how badly they're damaging themselves. It's always fun. Commander. Do that. Uh, Position confirmed. Let's see, do I alpha strike this guy? I don't think so. I think we'll just do that. And we'll just fire missiles at you. I don't see any need to do that. Ooh, nice. Oh, yeah. yeah, bastard. You want to shoot at us? Waiting for orders. So, uh, go fuck yourself, dude. Guess that's as far over as I can go. Fine. I read you, Commander. Back Moving up out. a little bit. And fire. Here we go. Perfect. Take that. <laughs> All right, now hopefully we can just lay back and relax. Granted, the Capellans are now completely outnumbered, but let's see. Actually, let's just move. Move back. Let's just move back a little bit. Granted, I could shoot it from here. Oh, no, I can't because now it's out of range. That's fine. Brace. With any luck whatsoever, the stalker will choose to engage the pirate forces, although it's coming towards us because of course it is. Yeah, we'll just, we'll just guard. Maybe the pirate forces will attack the stalker. That would be nice, wouldn't it? Hopefully they can pull the stalker back over there. Whew. Well, that just lost uh, either an arm or a torso. Serve.
Good job, pirates. Keep going after that. <laughs> Man, that mech is taking a fucking beating. <sighs> I hear ya. You can go back here. Got it. Cool off. It's reserved. Let's see what that stalker's up to. Yep. That's what I wanted. Good. <laughs> uh, maybe. It's done. Stabilizing. Let's brace and just vent some heat here. That stalker can put out a lot of punishment, so I'm kind of hoping the pirates fight it and at least soften it up a little bit more. Oh, that's it for that mech. Hopefully the pirates now... Yeah, there we go. Probably shooting it in the back, stupid bastard. Copy that. Now, is this pirate mech going to be smart and fight what it's shooting at it? Nope. They're going to shoot at it more. What's the stalker going to do? <laughs> Stalker's just going to get its ass kicked. Oh my god. <laughs> Let's find out what it does. Now the stalker will get to go. Wow, it's continuing to advance towards me. That's amazing. I'm kind of surprised. I'm actually really surprised. Standing that by. is... That is not a good decision on this part, but all right, fine. Let's advance on the stalker. Copy that. And let's deal with it. Shoot it with lasers. We'll at least do some damage. Yeah, I took all that damage to the back because it ignored the pirates to try to come after me. Why? I don't know. That wasn't very smart of it. Waiting on you, Commander. Let's maneuver over here. Moving out. And we'll get our money's worth. We'll just shoot it with the PPC. Reaching shot time. Granted, the pirates are going to continue to shoot it in the back. <laughs> so I'm not really What's sure up, what its overall plan is, but hey, whatever. It really wants to do that. Roger that. Welcome to do that. It's not smart, but whatever. I'm not wasting shots like that. We'll just do a little bit of damage here for free. I'm not wasting ammo on that shit. Let's see, jump. Do that. Let's see if we can start getting behind it. Because if we can jump behind it, core it, then it's game over. And we'll just shoot you with some medium lasers. I mean, it's 60% damage reduction, but it's damage. And if they're shooting them in the back... Well, that's a side hit, anyway. Let's see. Hmm. Well, the pirates can't shoot at me from right now. Anyway, let's reserve. Got it. I'm just gonna shoot the stalker even more. And let's blow off a component. Do me some. Do me a favor here, guys. Yeah, despite the fact that it's got 60%. Problem is, if you get hit from the back. You don't get any of that stuff. Yeah, you just... Fucking moron, stalker. Okay. Do I... Do that? Jesus. Shit, even with all that, I may end up destroying this thing. Or I could let it go first. At this point, it's got a pitiful... You know what? Let's reserve. 
Let's let the stalker go and see what it does. Commander. Oh, I don't think I would have killed it anyway. Wounded. But now it doesn't have nearly the defense it used to have. And now the victor's gonna, oh, okay. Or the victor's not gonna go, whatever. Standing by. Fine. Shoot you with two medium lasers. Do a little bit more damage. Copy that. Ready for orders. Let's see, I think here. Okay, now we go over here, we shoot it inside. I was kind of hoping it would come inland a little bit so I could get behind it, but oh well. Yeah, just shoot it. Affirmative. Maybe I can knock it over. I don't think so though. Oh, head hit. Right. You know what we could do? We already hit it in the head. Go for the head hit here. Engaging target. Yeah, oh well. It was worth a shot. Enemy mech destroyed. And now it's four on four. Good to go. We'll just do that. We'll be in a nice line. On my way. And they've got, and to come up me, they got to go down this road. They're going to be an open field. This is good terrain. Waiting for orders. Good armor. Do it. On it. Hey, Kara, what's going on? I blame your crow's high pan stalker. <laughs> Orders are to kick out the overweight strippers from this forest. <laughs> Do Ewoks bang up in the forest canopy or keep... Oh my God. <laughs> I'm going to guess the forest canopy, but who knows? Uh, <laughs> my God. Let's see. Yeah, let's... It's only got that. Let's, let's really... Let's make this Wolverine's life absolutely miserable. Locking. So greetings, guys. How are you on this late night Battletech uh, escapade? The campaign missions went well. Actually, the campaign mission went really well. It's the first time I think I've ever killed, uh, actually destroyed all of the mechs in the Op 4. So now we're just having a nice little uh, skirmish in the woods. We just dealt with a stalker, which was a big problem. And now we got to deal with a victor, which is over here. This is the victor. That thing's got an AC-20. We have to make sure that it doesn't fire at us if we can. <laughs> that is true, Phoenix. Absolutely. God damn. I hear you. All right. Let's see. What am I doing here? Uh, could shoot at the pool. Let's uh -huh. see. Let's see. I shoot at this Wolverine. Well, let's toggle all our weapons back on. Shadowhawk, Shadowhawk. Yeah, that's the that's the easier one. Okay, let's multi-target. All right, let's go for that Wolverine and split our fire a no little problem. bit. I've got enough guns for everyone. Cool. We already blew through its armor and made it a little easier to hit. Breaching shot. Boom. Okay, let's jump to this location. Engaging jump jet. Let's see. And does Seraph go for the ultimate kill here or... Yeah, let's just core this thing. Fuck this Shadowhawk in particular. <laughs> he just blew apart that fucking torso. <laughs> yes. Yes, we do. How are you guys doing? I haven't, I haven't talked to you in a little while, Kara. How's uh, how's life? Oh, here's this, Victor. I need to catch one of your gigs one of these days. Ugh. I took some shrapnel 
Man, you guys are just soaking up head hits like it's going out of style. Pissing me off. Well, oh, whatever. The victor. Victor versus Victor. Ah, shit. You don't have the called shot, the good called shot. All right. Well, in that case, let's just attack this and blow apart this Phoenix Hawk. Firing all weapons. Ah, excellent. Well, by then I'll definitely be, um, so yes, my neck is healed mostly. It's still, it feels like a sunburn at this point. Um, so it's not, it's not gross. Um, but my neck is much better. I do appreciate that. Uh, getting ready to go to that AI conference in Cali other than that hanging out. Yeah, cool. Nice. Um, now yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm good. I'm going to probably be streaming a decent amount. I finally got my emulator working so I could play East book one and two. It's going to be so much fun. I haven't played that game in like 30 years. So it's going to be, um, it's going to be interesting to see what I remember and what I don't. Uh, <laughs> it's going to be very interesting to see what, what I remember and what I don't, but that's okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it is nice. It's fun. But I've generally been working. Um, actually finally got a new desk at work. Biomed uh, bought a bunch of, um, bought a bunch of desks and then they moved offices or something and the new desks don't work in the uh, new space. So I got like basically a free one. You know, King's Quest. Yes, I have. So I have played all of those. Those are really fun games. Uh, I think I actually remember a good amount of the King's Quest games, too. So, um, I mean, I won't I won't spoil anything, but um, I like to catch your streams a decent amount, which is the one with the Minotaur. So that's six. That is that is King's Quest six. I could tell you exactly where it is and what this I actually. So there's a there's a maze. I actually have the maze memorized. Uh, yeah, it's the only one I played. <laughs> In my humble opinion, that's the best one. I really do enjoy six. I don't think it gets better than that. Uh, I, I could see why you would want to play that one again. That is that is by far the best one. Five is a close second to me. I also really enjoy five. Um, four is is like, OK, uh, I would probably put my my orders in six, five. One, two, three, and then four. Four, I really didn't enjoy. Oh, and seven is a fucking abomination. Um, yeah, probably won't be for a few weeks. But yeah, they're they're fun games, man. Uh, I was my favorite games are the Space Quest games. Those are the ones I want to play through all over again. Uh, actually, Freakbot got me Space Quest, the Space Quest collection for uh, I think my birthday a couple of years back. Um, so I definitely have thought about playing Space Quest in order through them. Uh, I think my favorite space quest is five. And in that case, six is the abomination. Six is terrible. Um, but yeah, I, you're going to have you're going to have fun playing through that, I think. Although I haven't played them, so I'm hoping it's not a case of nostalgia glasses. That would that would really that would really suck. Um, Roger that. But I, I, I seem to remember them being really, really good. Wow, I didn't destroy that mech. <laughs> Holy Holy shit, I did a lot of damage to it, but I didn't fucking destroy it. Seriously? God, I played those so many times over and over again. That, that brings back so many memories of my childhood, man. Great fun. Waiting for orders. Uh, let's back off a little bit and... Let's try and shoot the Shadowhawk a little bit more, but I'm going to toggle off the PPC here. Yeah, the best one Got for it. nostalgia is going to be playing through East. Goodbye, Shadowhawk. <laughs> That's a kill. Okay, now then, now we have some fun here. All right, so I am going to play games with this. And we're going to go for a one out of five shot to take out the victor right here. Low percentage shot, but if it was, if this hits with the gauze rifle, victor's life is game over. Come on, buddy. Nope. Hit the leg instead. That's lame. Not a single hit to the head, but oh well. It's a hard hit to make, but it's fine. 
Like, go big or go home. Hi, Cleo. Who's a good girl? You good girl? But now I got to focus on the victor because now it's only one turn away from hitting with that AC-20. And we can't let that AC-20 hit. Orders. So, uh, away we go here. Yeah, let's, uh, all right, let's jump. Yep, we're going to jump. Firing jump jet. And it's time to lay into the victor here. No, with the um, medium laser. And actually, could you hit the head? No, you can't hit the head. You can't shoot. You can't do a fucking precise shot for shit. Roger. But you're still gonna hurt. Damn it. I was hoping I could at least blow off the arm with the uh, lard, with the AC-20 on it. Where did that cat go? <laughs> I'm under heavy fire here. So, you're good. All right. Let's uh, let's lay into that Victor a little bit more. Wow, we can actually hit with everything. Fine, fuck it. Let's do All it. Goodbye, AC-20. Now I don't have to worry about the Victor as much. We basically just defanged it. I need squirt. Oh, wow. That game I haven't thought of in ages. Holy shit. Now that is a blast from the fucking past. Oh my God. Scorched Earth. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Kara knows what's up. All right. Yeah, let's... Uh... Let's go for that. Let's try to go for maximum salvage here, but if not, this Victor's gonna die. Engaging target. Yep, board it. That's all right. We tried. Actually, I should have gone for the leg. That would have been, damn it. That was stupid. I should have gone for the leg. Probably would have destroyed it. Oh well, it's fine. No AC5, or no PPC, but we'll shoot you with that. Firing on target. <laughs> Now this Wolverine, which we started with, we actually changed. Good to go. We kept changing um, targets here. Moving to position. Now we'll shoot that. Yo, oh, you got your toy. You're so cute. Who's my cute cat? Is you my cute cat? <laughs> <laughs> my co-host may hop up here. Scored. Yes, tank wars. I'd forgotten about tank wars. So I have to decide whether or not to go. We're actually, my God, actually we're on a roll here. It could just keep playing. Damage minor. Could do two I'm campaign here. missions. Copy that. Yeah, I think I'm only going to be able to fire one LRM 20 at this guy here. Oh, we can fire two. LRM. Yeah, all right, fine. LRMs. Uh, but yeah, after this, I have to decide whether or not to do the uh, campaign mission that comes up Target. or to save that for a different stream. But I feel like we're, we're making pretty good progress here. At this point, I'm not even going to waste precise shot. I don't think it has enough. Yeah, <laughs> there wasn't enough mech to protect against. It was over. Let's see what we got. Yep. Let's take a look at our salvage. Play game was gorillas. Yeah, that's right. Gorillas was basically the same. And it's on classic reload. Nice. All right, we got some, we made some money. My God. The Highlander got all the fucking kills. Holy shit. Let's see. All right, we'll definitely take the Stalker Salvage. Let's see, is there any lost tech? Okay, yeah, let's take the large laser plus two. Whew. Some good loss tech in here. Good SRM six. No gyros or equipment though. Still, they still they're still fucking us with that. I think I'm inclined to take the plus three small laser. Although I could take the Victor 9S. Try and complete that a little bit. Yeah, let's do that. Let's at least take that. We'll take the two assault salvages. 
And let's see. All right. Oh, cool. It gave us a small laser and uh, two medium lasers anyway. Sweet. That worked out really nicely. Definitely need to work on the Marauder and replace the other PVC so that they both have the stability bonuses. Because, yeah, two stability boosting PPCs just... They do so much damage. They're a knockdown machine. Combined with the archer that's in our current lineup. Beautiful. It's a thing of beauty. All right, so let's take a look at that. We still can't really mess around with that too much, but let's refit this. Let's take a look. Let's upgrade this. Oh, right. We have the plus 10 PPC, which is nice, but the stability damage PPC is, in my opinion, better. Yeah, that's that, we're going to knock shit down left and right with that. We do have another AC5. What was the other AC5? Plus four accuracy. Oh, uh, yes. Let's put the plus four accuracy in there so it always hits. We like that. Let's take a look at the medium laser. Hmm. Could put the more accurate medium lasers on there, but if I lose an arm, I'm going to cry that we lost it. Could soft one of the heat sinks for a double heat sink but I'm not inclined to do that just yet. Man, we're really getting hosed with equipment. That's unbelievable. Logged and oh, well, thank you, Karen. Thanks for dropping by. Always good to hang out with you. We'll catch up again later. Oh, let's uh, let's do a quick shout out for Karen before he heads off. Assuming he didn't do it for himself already. Did my, did my bot break? Oh, my bot may have broken. <laughs> oh, there it goes. It just took it a second. My bot had to wake up, but it got there. Perfect. All right, so we've got that. We're pretty good here. We've got some backup mechs that aren't terrible, just in case we want to do stuff. But we've got pilots that are hurt, so let's not... Yeah, suspend mode, bad bot. <laughs> yeah, right? Let's take a look at our mech warriors. Uh, You know what? Let's... Let's take a quick look. Let's go back to Kimi and see if maybe Waiting for orders. while uh, while Mech wandering up here, complete. maybe we could get it to Order. reset. Let's do this. Commander. Ah, nice. Okay. Yeah, let's do the overheat Training threshold. Complete. That's fine. And glitch. I hear ya. we're good there. All right. So let's we're still upgrading something, right? We are. Yes, we are. Let's take a look at star map. So this is the question. Do we do we do the campaign mission or like I feel like I'm going strong, but at the same time, um, it is getting a little late. Um, and I know what is what does chat think while I kind of mull it over. Um, see what we get. See what see what the votes are, you know, continue with the campaign or dick around with Kimi a little bit. Um, I'm kind of looking to farm some equipment here. It would be really nice to get an extra ER small laser, or at least a couple of other gyros so that we don't get hit as much, or a fucking exchanger would be nice. All right, I think I'm answering my own question. Let's go to Kimi. Let's try and go back here, because there really are a good, usually there's a good batch of stuff there. So we kind of wasted a month going back and forth, but I have a steez. Job done, Commander. Pardon me, sorry. Ah. Excellent. Have some fun in Helldivers. Good deal. Well, you guys have fun with that. If you're playing with Frank, tell him I said hi. At some point, I really do have to get Helldivers. So, all right, let's mess around with Kimi a little bit. And uh, and then we'll just call it before things get too ridiculously late. Um, and yeah, I do need to decide when I'm going to start playing East. I want to say I'm going to start doing that, that this week. Complete, boss. Nah, let's, we got structural reinforcement. So. Let's go for the ship upgrade here and... And the next thing we need is high capacity power circuits. So let's do that. And it's expensive, but it's going to be worth it. We're going to start zipping around a lot more. Of course, watch. Now we get to Kimi and they have the shit we need and we're not going to be able to afford it. Because we just went from about 4 million C bills down to 3 million C bills. And we're going to have a financial report. But you never know. Maybe we'll find the exchanger that we really need. An exchanger would be really nice. 
Oh, we'll get to Kimi before the financial report at least, so that helps. So in the event that money is tight, we could do a couple of missions and get above board. Looks like we've arrived. And if it looks like it's just do missions and do that, I might even just do that off stream. Just to uh just to do it. Wow, they there's Wow, nothing. I don't even know if this changed. Wow, I don't even know if that changed. Jesus Christ, man. Although this is a really cool Cyclops. Uh, no, this isn't the good Cyclops. This is the bad Cyclops. Man, that's super lame. Uh, are there at least any good contracts or are they the same? You know what? It looks like it's all the same. No, this is different. This is a blood feud. Um, so yeah, you know what? I guess we'll decide later. Let's, uh, I think this has been, this has been a fun, successful stream. Um, yeah, yeah, now, now my bot asks me, yeah, now my bot is awake. <laughs> well, that's all right. That's all right. So anyway, um, let's, let's call this and let's see if anybody's on. Cause I'm still like awake, but this is a good place to, uh, oh, we could talk to these guys, but you know what? Let's do that next time. Let's quit to desktop. Yeah. Let's save and quit just in case I didn't hit the button. I think I did, but let's see who's on. And then we'll figure out what I'm doing. If I'm going to do some more Battletech the next time I stream, or if we're doing, um, Oh, Cobra's, Cobra's streaming. Let's, let's raid Cobra. She may have just gone on. Create her dashboard. So, uh, stream manager. Let's, let's get this all set up here. Ending stream. So, um, this week, Usually I've been streaming like Tuesday night, and I think that's probably still a decent bet. Um, but I had been ill, you know, recovering from this whole neck thing. So I might just try to do a couple of makeup um, sessions too. So we'll see. I mean, I might, I might just hop on tomorrow. I know it's a little difficult when I can't make up my mind of what the schedule looks like and everything else, but that's all right. Uh, let's raid. Cobra! Oh, it looks like Cobra may have just hopped on because everything's starting to get set up here. So, uh, but yeah, I'll, I'll post on Twitter and all that. Uh, assuming you're not already following me on Twitter, feel free to follow me on Twitter or whatever it's called now. Uh, Resplendent Seraph and all that. All my various registration information is indeed on my Twitch profile. Uh, and if you're catching this out on YouTube and you want to ever uh, drop in live and catch things out, I am indeed on Twitch. Uh, feel free to follow me there on Resplendent Seraph. And without any further ado, I think that's everything. So for everybody, this is Seraph signing off. I hope you had a great weekend and I hope everyone has a great week ahead of us. And I will see you next time. Everyone, ciao. Wow, it takes a while for it to raid, doesn't it? <laughs> All right, everybody, have a good one. Signing off.